I think we begin, chat. It is time for act two of the Fontaine. This blinding sunlight is such a pain. No way I can get a nap in this weather. Our conquest. <laughs> Let's go. Hotel to board. Oh, here we go. <laughs> God damn it, Yolan. I came here several times with my father when I was little, but stopped eating here as often after growing up. I hope the food here will be to your taste. I'm sure it will. Oh, don't worry. We haven't eaten at a hotel like this in a while. Oh, no. <laughs> Paimon's getting excited already. Oh, no, not Paimon with new food, dude. We saw this one in Subaru. <laughs> oh, in that case, I'll go order for us first. Please wait here a moment. Interesting. Maybe she'll get us something banger, dude. Something great. Everything looks so good. People in Fontaine sure know how to enjoy life. True. Why, of course. Damn, Go ahead, dude. Try whatever you like. If the food's oh. good, I'll make a group reservation for the rest of Spina di Rosula next time. This looks so good. All of is that garlic bread? Oh. And if it's not? Oh. Well, uh, then I'll still bring everyone. Albeit with only one dish per table. Oh, yeah. that's fair. Sure have your own way of doing things. Oh, we called this a farewell meal, but we could also treat it like a victory feast, right? True. We did just win that case after all. Well, it feels like it's not quite won yet. It's certainly worth celebrating. It was a pleasure working with you. Dude, the OST in here is so nice. Oh, true. Very true. In that case, boss, we'll have another two dishes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Don't complain. <laughs> Don't complain. God. The food looks good. Cases, do you think that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances will get caught soon now that this has all happened? Well, we've certainly taken a big step forward, but I feel that's about it. Hmm. We know that there's an organization that means to dissolve these young women, but we still don't know what they are really after. That's true. If it hadn't happened right in front of us, Paimon wouldn't have ever believed that a person could be dissolved like that. Honestly, me either. When they brought the person out and, and they were showing it and being like, and then they said it was a lie, right? Like it didn't work or something. I was like, yeah, that sounded way too interesting to like actually be true. But then it was true. <laughs> it's <laughs> right? kind of scary. Yet it was because this was such a preposterous notion that the investigation could never really move forward before. Hmm. Ugh. If only that guy could have finished speaking. We were so close to hearing who was behind it. True. In such investigations, even the smallest step can seem like a yawning chasm if the trail of clues is cut off. To be honest, I don't have high hopes for any follow-up that the authorities might conduct. No, it'll be fine. It's not that I don't have faith in their ability. It's just that a different perspective is required in some matters. It's easy to guard against and deceive a single narrow perspective. A shift in thinking is required at such times in order to produce a breakthrough, which is exactly why the Spina di Rosula exists. Interesting. Those highfalutin folk are not all-knowing. Highfalutin? That's why we exist. To seep into the cracks where filth falls through, where their watch fails them. That's the kind of problems we solve. What's, what's highfalutin? Paimon thought things were simpler than they actually are. Sure, like the woods. <sighs> it's all right. Well, <laughs> this was supposed to be a farewell meal, so I doubt you have further interest in this business, right? Oh, no, I do. Let's talk about something else. Like, uh, what are your future plans? Uh, we wanted to ask the Hydro Archon for some information, but we haven't had much opportunity to do so. That's true. We didn't have a chance to speak to her after the trial ended. Didn't really seem like the right time or place to do it anyway. Definitely not. Hmm. I see. So, your primary objective, which has been foiled so far, was to have a chat with the Hydro Archon. Kind of, yes. I've heard that there's a long line of people waiting to meet Lady Farina. I suspect you'll be waiting for quite a while, considering that you missed your chance today. Unless we get arrested. <laughs> yeah. We've heard that she's super popular here in Fontaine, and that it'll be tough getting any of her time. Hmm. Well, would you consider some more, uh, oh. unique ways? Perhaps even methods of, uh, let's say, questionable legality? She's corrupt! 
Guess that's Spina de Rosula's box for you. <laughs> Chock full of sketchy ideas. Well, what did you have in mind? Speak to us, Navia. Well, one way would be to infiltrate a performance troupe at the Opera House, only to abandon your act at the play's climax and ask to speak to her after the performance. Ooh, I don't like I'm that. Sure Lady Farina would be eager to see the ending and would agree oh. in order to finish watching the play. Don't you think? Blackmail! Extortion! Uh, could you suggest something a little more practical? This plan seems pretty hard to pull off. We'd have to go learn how to act, and acting's really hard! I mean, that's true. <sighs> Alright, here's another. Find a way to conceal yourselves under her bed. Then, <laughs> wake her up in the dead of night and demand answers. Don't let her go back to sleep until she answers all your questions. What? I can personally testify that this one works. Huh? When I'm sleepy, I'll do anything as long as I can finally get some sleep. What the hell? Uh, that might work, but that's not really the problem. The problem is we don't want to get ourselves arrested. Yeah, dude. Uh, valid point. I overlooked that part. I was just thinking about leveraging a person's desire for sleep. How could you overlook something like that? <laughs> all right, all right. No more joking around. Yeah, okay. It was a joke. Oh, you could. Oh, I don't know. Cut the line when she's on a break. <laughs> you did defeat her in court, clearing citizens of hers from false accusations. False accusations she had nearly upheld personally. I imagine that she feels quite Bro. ashamed about the whole thing. Bro, how do we go from hiding under her bed while she's asleep to just cut a cue? You mean that if we catch her while she's on a break, she might be too embarrassed to refuse? Oh, that does make some sense. Wouldn't someone with her personality really... F or would someone with her personality really feel any shame? Why don't we give it a try after this meal? You know, strike while the iron is hot and all. Huh? Paimon, did you drink my Fanta? Font oh Fonta oh. Uh, was this your drink? I got, I got excited. <laughs> Product placement. Sorry about that. Paimon wasn't really paying attention, and the cup was right next to Paimon. Would you like to order another? <laughs> oh God. No, it's fine. We're just about done here. All right. Honestly, Paimon wouldn't recommend Fonta anyway. It tastes kind of salty and icky. What is Fonta? Uh, my drink also tasted that way, too. Is that so? Huh. Well, in that case, we'll have to blacklist the Fonta here, then. Huh? If we're all finished eating, then I'll go pay. Okay. Yeah, we're stuffed. Thanks for the treat, Navia. Oh, it's orange, so, so it is like Fanta? Interesting. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, so full. Oh, no. Paimon can barely float anymore. You could try walking, you know. Nah, that would be so... normal. <laughs> you know, like you. What did you just say to me? Hmm. Okay. As for expenses this month, we're left with... Hey, Navia! Hmm. What are you doing over there? She did call us basic. Oh. Nothing, nothing. It was just a meal, you know? Nothing the Spina di Rosula can't cover. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is she spending more than she can afford? That was a pretty pricey meal, all thanks to Paimon. <sighs> Let's get ready to try to meet the Hydro Archon again. Bye, Navia! <sighs> so this is goodbye, huh? Aww. Well, if you do encounter any other trouble in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina di Rosula. Thanks. I'll give your requests the highest priority. Ah, in any case, I wish you smooth sailing. I'll see you again, partner. See ya! Bye! I like Navia, dude. I really do. I think Navia might be one of my favorites so far. So far. Oh, wow. That just started. Goddamn! Well, welcome into Act 2, I guess. Uh, go to the Fountain Plaza in front of the Opera House. Oh, this is, this is far. We're going all the way back, dude. I think we can teleport directly to it, though. Which is nice. Oh, look at the little doggy. I love dogs. All right, we're here. There aren't many people around anymore. Looks like that boat we took to Araneas might have been the last one. The shame. Uh-oh, the fountain's talking to us again. Hmm. Looks like we're back here again. Huh? Traveler? Are you hearing voices again? Yes, and it's clearer than it was during the day. Oof. Let's go. Kinda of spooky. 
Are you sure we don't want to come back in the morning? No, I want to stay. Vache. What does Vache mean? Hey, <laughs> why are you still walking towards it? Oh, no. I can feel strong emotions. Things are getting a little blurry. Huh? Hang on. Paimon can kind of hear a voice. Huh? It's calling for Vashe, right? Hey, traveler, stop walking. Wait, that means. Come on, wake up! Confirmed. Paimon is taking some of the elements from the uh, the the statues when we take it, maybe. Because they said only people that are like innate with Hydro can hear the voice. I think. Ooh. Ocean Ed, where is this? Vache, are you my dear Vache? Absolutely not. No, wait. You seem to be someone else. Do you know Vache? Do you know where my love is? I'm afraid not. Who are you? I'm. Wait. Who am I? I'm very sorry. I fear I do not know. The ocean will swallow their memories. My memories feel like they have been washed away like a flood. So many fragments dissolved amidst the tide, never to be recovered. Uh-oh. How much have I lost? How many things that I once held dear while on land have I since forgotten? You were once human? Yes, that is what I was once. But now... I am but the consciousness of one who has lost their form. You lost your form. I do not know how I came to be like this either. I only vaguely remember being covered in light blue water. And then all grew dim. Light blue water? Could that have been... Could she have been one of the girls who were dissolved? I also remember going to many places. I loved adventure. Loved exploring places of peril. No matter where I went, Vache would go with me. I knew how dearly he loved me. And I also loved him equally as much. But now, we can no longer go back. Aww. The pain of such parting. I never knew how heavy it could be. So you need me to find him? No. Our reunion no longer has any meaning. There is no way for us to create any new memories. Oh man! The thought of me gives him no succor. So let it lie forgotten beneath the waters. If you meet Vache, tell him not to look for me. Tell him to move on. That is the only thing I still remember. I believe it'll be hard for him to forget you. Perhaps that is so. As I was submerged in the waters, Losing consciousness. I saw Vache above the surface. His eyes were filled with such sorrow. Such longing. If only I could have comforted him. Told him that I did not suffer. Indeed. I had felt a great warmth. That means Vache was a witness to the fact that you dissolved? Is that what you call it? Dissolving. If anything, I consider it a form of release. Huh? It was a state of neither fear nor frenzy, with only an endless peace, like the water still surface. I could also liken it to being a thirsty person who drinks water for the first time, and only then sees how they have lived for so long in a world of endless want and anxiety. Seems that after the body is dissolved, some measure of the consciousness still remains. I think I hear your companion. It's time for you to go, I think. Is that Paimon? I wonder how much time has passed in reality. Farewell, then. I am glad that you were able to sense my presence. Remember, if you see Vache, tell him not to seek me out any longer. What the hell? That I mean, that was cool, but... Oh. Oh, God. What? Huh? Yo, what the hell? Ooh, wait. Oh, shit, that's cool. 
Okay. Jamoiselle, look out! Dear God, it's a whole army of Gardamex. I was about to say, dear God. Oh, it's Clorinda. And? Oh. Rip. Thought you're so cool. Come on, Lady Maria, kick some ass. Why do they turn red? Ooh! Quick, now's our chance! Oh, you're so cool, dude! Dude, what? We need a Fontaine OST orchestral performance right now, dude. Bruh. Now that was a cutscene. Jesus Christ. That was sick, dude. That was so action packed. Thank you for lending us your sword there, Clorand. But before I do so, could you explain how you managed to show up here? I followed you. <gasps> it seemed to me that danger has followed you more closely as of late. I believe that following someone without their knowledge is actually called stalking, is it not? Okay, she saved your life pretty much, Ned. Mr. Come on. Callus's last wish was for me to ensure your safety, and I will not betray his trust. Mr. Callus. He would do the same were he alive today. Do not speak of my father. Oh, sorry, demoiselle. I was not strong enough. Thank you for your aid, Miss Corand, but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech. I believe we all wish to avoid unnecessary emotional harm. Yeah, we're playing a Hoyoverse game. I don't think that's going to happen, Malice. Also, why is it always the fathers? <laughs> Sorry, I did not consider your feelings. Whatever. What else do you know? How did you come to the conclusion that I'd be in grave danger? I doubt I know much more than you. But I believe that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances is very powerful. Mm. Your performance tonight will almost certainly attract their attention. Huh. I'm sure they've known about me. To be honest, I'm shocked it's taken them this long to act against me. And what about these Gardamex? I thought only those associated with the Maison Guardianage could control them. None of these mecha have serial numbers. I was sure to check a moment ago. They are not the ones used by the authorities to enforce the law. Wait, so they're made by, like, third parties? I can only conclude that some powerful or wealthy party must have obtained them via illegal means. Damn. Deploying them as a private force of sorts. Damn. What? Your point being that they're out of Spina di Rosula's league, then? Yes. Be careful. <laughs> and do not act rashly. Damn. I will continue investigating no matter what. We will bring the truth to light. That's my father's true last wish. <laughs> oh, bless her. Regardless, thank you for your help today, Clarand. But if you get any ideas, tell me first. I don't much appreciate being followed. What together? I do not think that they'll strike again anytime soon. So I shall stop following you. Good day, all. Wait, I like her, dude. I thought she was going to be more bitchy than this. She just cares. She just cares. Huh. Right. I suppose that's the best news we've gotten today. I think she's... Navi has maybe got a grudge against her or something. That's why she's acting like that. But it does seem to me like she just cares. You know what the vibes remind me of between these two? It actually kind of reminds me of the vibes between Deluc and uh, Kaya. A little I bit. I believe that Miss Clorand was being sincere with you. If we tried, we could attempt to thaw relations a little. I know, I just... She's... <sighs> hmm. Who was that? Oh, thank goodness! I must thought we were done for! Those Gardamex came out of nowhere while you were unconscious, and Nadia and her gang saved us! I wonder if they would try to come for us. Oh, and there was that champion duelist named Clorand who came out to save us too! We got lucky there. Paima 
Alpimon probably couldn't have fought them off otherwise. <laughs> also, you're a fight an Alpimon. Think of the rescue, Navia. Oh, <laughs> come now. Forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there. Not for me, anyway. In truth, I hope that every meal we have together <laughs> shall be a victory feast. I love her, dude. As such, we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. It will take 50 years for me to match Demoiselle's magnanimity. Did you also notice how her sword was glowing in the cutscene? I'm curious if, uh, if she's gonna be... Listen, I don't want to say it, but... In my head, she's th still the most likely to go on standard banner. I'm really hoping she's not going to be a five-star Noel, dude. I'm really hoping she's not. I, I want something new from her, not just a five-star Noel. If it were me, I would have joined the Spina di Rosula on account of her goodwill long ago. <laughs> All right, you two. That's enough. Mm. Actually, Navia, how did you know that we were in danger? You sure did show up in the nick of time. Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Paimon. Huh? huh? Really? Paimon contributed somehow? What does she do? Oh, Paimon's even more amazing than she thought! Yes, all thanks to you grabbing my drink by mistake. Uh... What? How did that help? After we parted ways, I was on the way back to one of our bases when I suddenly thought of what you said. What, it was salty? That the Fanta tasted kind of salty and icky? I thought this is strange as well, but I couldn't be sure. <gasps> Was it poisoned? No, because Paimon would turn into sludgy shit as well. Fanta I thought it tasted comes fine. in sweet flavors. So how could it have tasted salty? Did they put the, the weird water the in drink, it? The drink, if I recall, had also been a bit off. So the Fanta had been spiked with water from the primordial sea? Ooh, not from Fontaine. Yeah, but we could do... Oh, well, yeah, I guess. I'm kind of just imagining that it would affect us in the same way, but probably not because we have the Numa Uzi thing, but Paimon might not. I don't know. Yes, so if Clearly you not affect us then either. Cup for me... Damn. She'd have been kaput, dude. She'd have dissolved into a puddle. Spina di Rosula is preparing the grandest of awards for you as we speak for saving the boss. Fortunately, Paimon, neither of us are from Fontaine. Otherwise, we would have been... I know it only affects Fontanians, chat, but here's that only people from Fontaine dissolve. Yes, but how the fuck does that work? Think about it logically, right? There's got to be something inside the people that is different from the rest of Teva. It's not just where they were born, dude. That'd be ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. It's got to be something inside of the people that is causing them to do that, which I assume is the Numa and Usia, but we'll see. Otherwise, we would have been... We would have also been kaput. to Hotel de Boer to investigate, but whoever did this left no trace at all. That's when I figured out that you might be in danger and hurried here as quickly as I could. Hmm. Why would they go after us too? All we did was defend Linny in court and help clear his name. Ugh, now we're caught up in this mess too, aren't we? Just like old times. Well, you did foil a plan that they were probably pretty proud of and almost got their name in the process. Speaking of which, did anything strange happen when you drank the primordial seawater? I don't think it had anything to do with drinking the seawater because it happened before as well, and I don't think we had that. Well, it can't be a coincidence that the Traveler fainted just now. He said that he heard that voice calling for Vashe again. Unless we did drink it beforehand as well. Oh, and this time Paimon heard it too, but it was real faint. Does this situation have to do with the primordial seawater then? According to Lynette, the ability to hear voices like that has to do with one's sensitivity to the hydro element, yeah. Does that mean the primordial seawater raises someone's sensitivity to hydro when it's used on people who are not from Fontaine? Ooh. That doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing, to be honest. I also gained some new intel. New intel? While you were out cold? Yeah. Uh, well, let's hear it, shall we? The voice in the fountain belonged to one of the missing women. A person named Vasha was also was a witness when she dissolved. Oh, that is important. You tell everyone about what happened while you were connected to the Oceanid's consciousness. Vasha, that name doesn't ring a bell. I suppose he hasn't stepped forward as a witness in court lately. Maybe Since not. Since he saw that young woman dissolve, he was at least at the crime scene. But he never gave testimony or any information regarding people dissolving in the primordial seawater. Could he have been... threatened? If he's still alive, we should try searching for him. Yes, thank you. This is very important information indeed. 
We will continue to investigate. Mm, I right, partner. By we, you mean us too, right? Oh, you mean you'll help us investigate? Uh, of course. Well, you did say that our farewell meal didn't really count. That means we're still partners, right? And besides, we're in this now whether we like it or not. You're not gonna let those people who targeted us get off the hook so easily, are you, Traveler? Messing with us will cost them. This will prove to be their biggest mistake. Demoiselle, do try not to look quite so pleased. You are the face of Spina di Rosula, after all. <laughs> <laughs> you talk too much. <sighs> well, in that case, let's head back to one of our bases, shall we? I'll arrange accommodations for you. We also have some plans to go over, and hopefully we can deepen our bonds as partners. Oh, but... don't worry, you two. Ah, I didn't even around, click. Our base is definitely secure. <laughs> okay. Uh, huh? Here, the ocean is called it with a consciousness. Lenik and Foliasiv. What does that mean? It's Hungarian, I think. Uh huh. <laughs> Wait. Wait, where are we again? A Hungarian poem. Interesting. Oh, is this gonna be underground, dude? Wait a minute. Oh, it is. Oh, sick. I didn't think we'd go I'm underground yet. Up ahead, but let's make sure we weren't followed first. I've been keeping watch, Demoiselle. I haven't spotted anyone suspicious thus far. Huh. Very good. But let's not let our guard down for now. Sure. I shall find rooms for our respected guests. Thank you, Malus. Now, let's continue, Traveler. I am down. Dog. I heckin' love dogs. So, uh, this is your base? Quite what Paimon imagined. Your accommodations have been arranged. Under the present circumstances, I can confidently say it's the best we have. Well, thank you. So much for my expectations. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, our God. funds have been a little tight lately. After all, we don't allow illegal or unethical profiteering. In fact, our funds often come from citizenry who support us. Seems like it's tough times for everyone. But if you have the support of the people, that does sound like it's worth it. True. <sighs> to be honest, our financial situation was a lot better back when my father was in charge a few years ago. Oh. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm not quite his equal. Your father? He was the previous boss of Spina di Rosula, right? How did he... Uh, Demoiselle, if you'll allow me to explain. Uh, no, I I'll explain it myself. Oh. I suppose I couldn't run from this topic forever. And as partners, this is something I hope they can understand. My father's name is Callus. Yes, the same one they call Callus the Unfaithful in the streets. Three years ago, he was accused of murdering his own friend. But he chose a duel to defend his honor instead of standing trial. He died in the duelist's ring. Oh, did Cla- Oh no. Oh no. But I do not believe my father was a murderer. I'm sure he was set up. At the time, I believed that if he only stood trial and was duly investigated, something amiss would crop up and prove his innocence. But strangely, he not only requested the duel himself, but rumor has it that even after being seriously injured, to the point where he could be deemed as having lost the duel, he refused to surrender, determined to die in the arena. <laughs> Three years later, I still don't understand why he did that. Damn. How could he protect his honor if he's dead? <laughs> if anything, he gave up his chance to defend himself. Does seem quite odd. Any clues as to why? The closest piece of info I have is that my father had been investigating the serial disappearances case at the time of his death. Ah, so that's why you're so determined to get to the bottom of that case. That's right. I've also tried to investigate the murder my father was implicated in, but I haven't found a single new clue in my countless reviews of the investigation records. Weird. However, I believe that if the murder case is related to those behind the disappearances, they must know something. I must know what really happened. Was my father coerced? Framed? Even if he really did kill his friend, I must... Get to the truth. Yeah, she just wants to know the truth, no matter if what it only is. If he'd been more open with me when he was still alive. Oh, he man. He hid the fact that my mother died due to complications when giving birth to me. She's been and through now, it. Here I am investigating his death. <laughs> you really are a handful, 
Aren't you, Papa? Seek the truth for the sake of your family. You know, we're quite alike in this regard. Demoiselle, please. If there is anything I can do, anything at all. I also will never believe that Master Callus murdered anyone. There are none whom I respect more than the two of you, Demoiselle. Master Callus did so much good in life, yet all it took was one murder case for him to be dubbed Callus the Unfaithful. Even our supporters decreased greatly due to that incident, hence our uh, strained finances. <laughs> Red kid running in the background, hey, dude. If Callus was such a good man, wouldn't people at least be a little suspicious when he was accused? Uh, no. Perhaps people just revel in that kind of drama. It's not something exclusive to people from Fontaine, really. Everyone's like that. People love watching the evil turn over a new leaf, but they also enjoy watching good people fall into an abyss from one slip-up just as much. Hmm. But how could... Ugh, never mind. If Callus was really falsely accused, we have to find the truth. He didn't deserve to have that happen to him. And there is one other thing. Master yeah. Callus' opponent in the duel was oh, Miss Coran. Saw that coming. Oh, her? Well, then, isn't that as good as saying that she was the one who killed him? Okay, Paimon, Jesus Christ. <sighs> no wonder the mood was a little strange between the two of you. Yeah, that's not the sort of thing that you can just let go and move on from. Miss Clorand has always placed great emphasis on the honorable nature of the duel. If her opponent doesn't yield, she will not stop either. She knew Master Callus beforehand and greatly respected him, oh. but seeing how he was resolute in the arena, there was only ever one choice she could have made. It's not that I don't understand her at all, but I... I just can't deal with this yet. Bro, I feel like Navia is one of the most level-headed characters that we've met in Genshin. She's been through so much shit, but she understands why things happened. All she wants to know is the truth and wait until she's ready to deal with it. Holy fuck, dude. Don't worry, Navia. Paimon knows how you feel. You don't have to force yourself to do that. Afterward, Ms. Koran told us that at the start of the duel, Master Callus requested that she ensure Demoiselle Navia's safety. And that indicates that he intended to die in that duel. Yes, that is our understanding as well. <sighs> oh, Papa. What madness drove you to ask the person who killed you to take care of me? All right. Anyway, that's the information I wanted to share with you. Even if it did sound like I was just complaining towards the end. It's fine. I understand how important this is to you. Uh, thanks. You two should go and rest. This was quite a day after all. True. Yeah. I want to eat. Please. You're going to make me yawn. And get some sleep. We will ensure you rest soundly. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, why did you have to yawn, dude? Oh, hello, Silver. Whether it be responsibility for Spina di Rosula or Master Callus' death, it all landed on Demoiselle's shoulders so suddenly. This won't do. I must become stronger. Poor Silver, dude. I feel like Silver just feels like he's not doing enough, you know? Aww. Silver's funny. Most of the time. A peaceful night passes under the speed of Dibuzula's protection. Ah, I must slept so well. <sighs> this place feels almost too safe. Jesus Christ. Huh? Nadia? Where did the other two go? I sent them back to Poisson. It's Spina de Rosula's place of origin, and where we have our headquarters. There's not much for them to do here at the moment. Paimon gets the feeling that you're just trying to get them off your back. Hmm. Never mind that. When did you get back? Were you waiting here the whole time? No, I just returned after going out for a while. I did some investigating yesterday regarding the name Vache. Vache? Hey, so you didn't sleep at all? <laughs> How could I after having such critical new evidence appear? Uh... Guess Paimon wasn't speaking for everyone just now, huh? No. Uh, unfortunately, this name seems to have been wiped from existence. What? It doesn't seem to have a match anywhere. I suspect that those behind this have already taken steps to hinder an investigation from this angle. But 
That does prove that this Fashe person is a key witness in the incident. Does that mean we're too late, though? No. There is one ray of hope. One place in Fontaine that they would find almost impossible to threaten. No matter how much they wanted to. And that is the archives kept by Chief Justice mm. Nuvillette. A place where detailed files on all the cases in recent years are kept. If the Oceanet you met is one of the young women who went missing recently, we should be able to find some related information there. Something feels really weird about this, and I can't put my finger on what it is. So Nervalette maintains an archive of case files? Whew. Guess that's the hardworking Chief Justice for you. In that case, let's go talk to him, shall we? Um... Well, why don't we go hide under his bed? Aren't you coming along, Navia? Did you get tired? It was her recommendation. Uh, no, it's nothing. Let's go see the Honorable Chief Justice. We better than cut it in queue. I'm ready. Huh? So many achievements, dude. Hold on. Learn about Navia's father at the speed of the Rasula stronghold. Once upon a time in Fleuve Condra. Oh, okay, okay. Please tell me we actually get the speed to Nouvellet prop properly now. Nouvellet? Objection! <laughs> Please state your business here. The Chief Justice is presently occupied with official matters. The ice is amazing. Yeah. This place does look pretty heavily guarded. Guess that proves that Nervalet's files are really secure. True. Hey, don't you recognize us? Huh? Who are you? Just to be clear, <clears throat> I don't care who you are or who you might be related to. Our rules make no exceptions. See? They've got great discipline, too. Huh? Yep, yep. Yeah, that, can tell. that VA is incredible, if dude. you're here just to crack jokes, I can point you towards the exit. Unlike some, we're busy. So please leave if you don't have a reason to be here. <laughs> uh, no, no. What I meant to say is, shouldn't you remember us from a few days ago? We were at the trial of the great magician Linny. Oh, oh, yes, I remember. I read about it in the Steambird. You, you must be Linny's attorneys. It's all coming back to me now. Yes. We're here today to report and archive some information on a follow-up case. Huh, is that even a thing? Of course. Don't worry, we're here on official business. You can trust us. All right then, I'll let you through. The Chief Justice is just inside. My God. Ah, thanks so much. Wait, is it Diona's V8? That Surely not. I don't know. Hella good voice acting, either way. Uh, hello, I'm here. Please come in. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hello. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God is so cool looking, dude. Um, sorry for our gym, Monsieur Nervalette. We only lied to get in because we didn't know any other way. It's all right. Please let me know how I may be of assistance to you. Uh, so you're not mad at us? We are looking for a hmm. man called Vache. He may have been an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. If we can find him, we may be able to unearth some key information on the case. Ah, I see. In that case, please wait here a moment while I browse through the files. Okay. <laughs> so quiet, did. <laughs> I like the I knew echoing. That would be so easy to talk to. Huh. God, his eyes are so cool. It's so quiet. You can hear everything. The ticking clock, everything. I can hear. Uh, Unfortunately, I'm quite certain that no one by the name of Vache has been involved in any case, criminal or civil, in the past several years. There are no records of him either in the files or in my memory. Mm, so we're back to square one. Traveler, what if it was really just a dream? Is that so? All right then. Thank you so much, Monsieur Neuvillette. We'll take our leave now. What if this is still a dream? It's everything's echoing, dude. Everywhere. Him. <clears throat> oh, hello. <laughs> Why did he just cough like that? Him. <clears throat> Miss Navia. I can understand how you feel. Your father, Callus, was a truly exceptional man. 
Oh shit. We deeply regret his passing. Hmm. And what are you trying to say, Monsieur Novillet? Are you trying to console me? Extend your sympathy? Or just express some tendril of regret? No. You are not trying to do any of that. I can hear it in your voice. There's no emotion behind your words. You only said those things because you felt like you should. Damn. It's just like last time. After my father took his place in the duelist ring, I pushed through the guards to talk to you as a last resort. You even told me then that you thought there was something fishy with the case, yet you still allowed the duel to go ahead. Damn. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. If you truly regret my father's death, then why didn't you call a stop to the duel? Wipe the why the tears? Why you give me the power to stop him from throwing his life away? Why did you just let him die, despised and hated by all? Everything was hanging on a thread at that moment. Just the tiniest effort could have changed everything. There are still so many things I never got to tell him. So Man. many questions he still owes me answers to. If you really have no heart, then just look me in the eyes. I, Navia, will show you the true meaning of regret. Jesus. Goddamn. I'm sorry, Miss Navia. You and my father are truly alike. You keep all kinds of things in your heart and never say a word to anyone. It's not so much that you can't feel, but that you would never express anything. Oh well. In any case, everyone already knows full well the apathy of the Chief Justice. My apologies for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. Jesus Let's Christ, go, dude. Paimon. Wow. That was deep. That was deep. Now it's just sad. Navia, are you okay? I'm fine. <gasps> Wait! <sighs> oh, dude. Dude, that's just confirmed What's in right? my head. You're right. That is just what confirmed in Navia my head, dude. He's bawling his eyes out up there. The trials today. He is... <laughs> <laughs> He's crying his eyes out upstairs, dude. He's bawling. He's the Hydro Dragon. He's crying. Now that I think of it, on the day my father was convicted of murder, it was also raining. That's confirmed. That's co that's as good as confirmed, dude. What is it? Did you think of something? Your father's case. Was he outside when it happened? Yeah, he was outside. It was uncovered and the rain could fall there. Why? Do you think the rain could have affected the crime scene? That thought has occurred to us before. We've even expanded the search area to try to account for that. But didn't find anything of value. Mm, but there's something you didn't know at the time. Oh? Wait. Uh, you don't mean... The fact that people could be turned into water. So you're saying that the true murderer could have been turned into water? And then got washed away with the rain? Yeah! Oh, that's what it happened. Shit. Then no one would have believed your dad, even if he explained what he saw to the authorities. I really think I found a true genius for a partner. <laughs> <laughs> You're completely right. How did I not connect the dots earlier? All right, let's go to Poisson. With this new lead in mind, we'll get to the bottom of my father's case for sure. That's unironically yeah, big brain. We're gonna make progress for sure this time. Do you want to go with me now? Or do you want to head over by yourself later? Um, no, we'll go. Go now. Great. Let's go then. Go now. Holy. Wow, dude. Holy shit, chat. Huh? Uh, oh. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Oh, this reminds me of uh, Sumeru, kind of. Oh, damn. Wait, that's sick. That's so cool. Whoa, what a huge ship. Why would a ship be anchored at a place like this? <laughs> There's no need to be so surprised. 
While it may look like a ship, it's actually Spina di Rosula's headquarters. Hell yeah. My father was the one who asked for it to be built like this. Perhaps our taste in exterior design is the only thing we occasionally had in common. A gigantic and glamorous ship embodies discovery, opportunity, ambition, and conquest. It symbolizes Spina di Rosula's bright and limitless future. Uh, I think I'm starting to get why you like it. <laughs> I'm kind of that you were bluffing when you said Spina di Rosula had a glorious past. Oh. I'm always confused why a group with such a history would live in the sewers. But now that Paimon has seen this ship for herself, she's been convinced. It is really cool. Well, Poisson is where Spina di Rosula began, after all. It's our main base, our home. Damn. Well, hello there, Melus. Uh, I am here. Where is Silva? Melus, we're back. Melus, I mean, shit. Apologies for the wait, demoiselle, and our most important partners. You said before that you still had some business at the court. What brings you back to Poisson so quickly? Uh, about that. It's because my partner here reminded me of something really important. You see, what if my father's case had something to do with water from the primordial sea? You still remember, right, Malus? On that night, it was raining? Mm. Yes, the case was quite similar to that of Mr. Linney's. Both were what you'd call impossible murders. Chat, I wasn't aware you could even go back and check on Nouvellet. The, he's got his door locked most of the time, and it took us outside. I thought that was obvious that we just had to move on at that point. My bad. I'll check it out later. Uh, could the boss be the same person? Could you tell us a bit more about what happened before? Yeah, of course. Many years ago. You can't go back? Then what the fuck are people talking about? To gain popularity in Poisson. <laughs> At a glance, it was a kind of drink that could excite your mood and produce many pleasant hallucinations. Wait! Didn't that guard guy who turned into water also mention that the primordial water could be used to produce some kind of potion? Yes, he did. Considering what we know now, it's almost certain that synth is created using water from the primordial sea. Hmm. If you drink synth for an extended amount of time, you'll suffer many side effects such as losing the ability to focus or control your emotions. And if you were to stop drinking it completely, you'll experience flashes of paranoia and anxiety while lacking energy to do anything. It's an extremely dangerous substance. It's... As he oversaw Poisson, my father was compelled to put a stop to synth abuse and called for a complete ban of it. Good. Boss's uncompromising attitude incurred the synth vendor's wrath. But no matter how much they threatened or bribed him, he refused to yield. Not only that, Boss became determined to find the mastermind behind the synth operation and put an end to the problem once and for all. Yes, but the enemy was very cunning. <laughs> so he could never get anything out of the dealers, all of whom only sold the stuff and weren't privy to the rest of the operation. Damn. Recognizing that, my father decided to contact the dealers in secret and cultivate personal relationships with them. Finally, he was able to convince someone to become his informant. The man's name was Jacques. He felt greatly Jacques. ashamed about his work after seeing many families destroyed by synth abuse. That night, my father hosted a banquet at his countryside estate. He planned to meet up and exchange information with Jacques over some food. Food sounds good. But then... We heard two gunshots from the courtyard. Ooh. We raced to the scene and found my father, still holding a gun, and Jacques, who was already dead on the ground. Ouch. Ah! How did that happen? Aren't they on the same side? Damn, dude. Sounds just like Lenny's case, doesn't it? In both cases, yes, the culprit actually seemed it obvious, does. But neither appeared to have any motive at all. It was Simon Cowell again. Back on it, though. I now believe the most important clue was something we all overlooked at the time. There were pieces of clothing left at the scene. Oh, uh, so they could have belonged to someone who got dissolved? Precisely. It's all thanks to you that I made the connection now. Back then, we all just thought they were some costumes that Jacques used to disguise himself at the banquet. But, considering it now, it's almost certain that they belong to a third person at the scene. With one extra person, we'll also need to reconsider why the two shots were fired. Maybe your father got into, into an argument with Jack, but it's also possible the third person was to blame. I think it's very possible the third person was to blame here. You're right. Very. We still don't know what happened. 
But my intuition tells me that we're on the right track to figuring it all out. <sighs> I'm finally headed towards the truth. Jacques was an empathetic man who was infinitely remorseful for his past actions. It's unlikely that he turned on boss with zero warning. I think this third person is probably the key to the full truth. True. On that note, however, even though this will not please you, demoiselle, as you're and your father's butler, I must still offer a word of warning. Our opponents... Got the music again, dude. Cruel. They are extremely difficult to deal with, and Boss has already lost his life trying to bring them to justice. Even though Spina de Rosula has lost most of its former glory, Poisson has welcomed a new time of peace, and we have been allowed to live out our lives. There is no need to follow your father's path. It would be both wise and in line with Boss's wishes to step back. And give up on the case. No. If that's indeed what he wished for, then he should have told me that himself. I think it's a bad idea, Nabi. Don't, don't listen. I'm the closest person to him, and yet I was the one most kept in the dark. What was the point of him dying without sharing any of the secrets he knew? To protect you. Did he manage to protect anything in the end? I think the big reason is to protect her. Synth is still here. Callus the Unfaithful is still his epithet. And Spina di Rosula is barely getting by. Nothing has changed. Did he think I'd just accept his meaningless death and live out my life just as meaninglessly? I've never accepted that, ever. Not since that day, and certainly not now. I'm not I surprised. Want to find out the real answer for everyone's sake. Good. For the missing girls, for the victims, and for myself. Navia. I agree with her, by this the way. This is indeed the best moment to act. Your partner appears to be quite reliable. And more importantly, Demoiselle, I think you're also ready to take this on. You changed your tune. So you do know something else, Maloose. <laughs> yes, I do. In fact, even before that banquet, Boss already knew of the connection between Synth and the serial disappearances case. What? But what drove all the tensions to the boiling point was the revelation that you, Demoiselle, had been selected as the next target to disappear. What? Oh. <sighs> Boss also didn't tell you that he had been diagnosed with a rare illness. The doctors told him that he had no more than five years left to live. So he chose his own way and out. The serial disappearances case caused him great anxiety. Five years was nowhere near enough time to resolve this long-standing conflict. But once he passed away, all the danger would pass on to you. Knowing all of this, he decided to use one final intimidation tactic before his death. He claimed to have already gotten his hands on some key incriminating evidence for the other side, and even told some members of Spina de Rosula about the details. Interesting. But as long as you remain safe, he would not share the evidence with the public. Well, she's not safe if now. If something were to happen to you, then he and all those he told would immediately expose all they knew about Synth and the disappeared victims. Right. So nobody would be able to get off scot free. I feel like why let As it get to that seen, point Boss's though. tactic has worked. Even though Boss has been gone for a long time, the other side has not tried to take Demoiselle's life. I guess. No. I don't believe it. He never appeared to look sick to me. Oh God, here no we go. No father wants their daughter to see them weak and haggard, especially someone as proud as Boss. First stage of grief is denial. Is that right? I don't know. It's one of the stages, and if it's not, it is now. To him, dying in a duel and suffering lasting dishonor as the unfaithful are still far preferable than losing face in front of his daughter. <laughs> oh. So he chose to die in silence so that he could protect me. Yes, please don't sound so annoyed at that. I think it's actually very nice. I'm afraid you're not understanding this correctly, demoiselle. What Boss wanted to hand to you was not a parasol, but a sword. If Boss's spirit could hear you telling me that you want to find the answer for the sake of everyone involved, I'm sure he'd be extremely proud. Uh, that fool. <laughs> Couldn't 
couldn't he have just given it to me straight? <laughs> no. He might have set up everything precisely because he never thought I'd be able to understand him. Stop crying, you're gonna make chat cry. The amount of confidence he had in me. And what if I was never able to make it to where I am now? You gave her the choice to live how you want. Yeah. I suppose that's true. Yeah, not forcing down one path is a great thing. Things up, if I had wanted, I could have just lived out my life without a care in the world. Mm hmm But thankfully, he rarely talked to me about complex matters, and thus understood little of me as a person. In this case, he really didn't need to give me an easy way out. Huh. Malus, what was the key evidence that he shared with you? It's the location where synth is produced. Essentially, it's the enemy's headquarters. When he was threatening the enemy, boss didn't share the specifics of the incriminating evidence he found. But if you want to use it against the enemy, you'll still have to take several things into consideration. Why? If we know where the place is, can't we just go storming in? Typical Paimon. You mustn't forget that we're fighting against a mysterious and dangerous organization that's been in operation for decades. There's no telling what might be lying in wait at their headquarters. We also have no idea what kind of evidence we may be able to find inside, nor what people we may be able to capture. Bro, why do I imagine they've got, like, the typical, like, children's booby trap set up? Like a bucket on top of the door, just wedged enough so that when they open it, it'll drop that primordial water on them and just dissolve them. <laughs> but a single visit to their headquarters would be tantamount to a formal declaration of war. Oh, God. Yeah, the like, hold on. The would be that we leave empty-handed, but also open ourselves up to full retaliation. Mm. Then, in that case, why not work with the Fontaine authorities? Well, you saw one of them dissolve during Mr. Linney's case. True. We have no idea just how thoroughly they may have been infiltrated. That's a good point. Do you so how the hell did that work, right? Because he he dissolved out of nowhere, dude. Maybe they've got things implanted inside them, like little vials that are set to tr that can be like uh, remote detonated or something. I don't know. It's so weird. I I still don't really know how that works, but it's cool. That's it's true. interesting. Very Since interesting. Father really had no choice, but things are different now. It should be a lot easier to prove the other side's guilt, now that we've connected Synth with the disappearances case. You sound like you've put a lot of thought into this, Malouse. I am the butler, mm. after all. I live but to serve the boss and Demoiselle's will. That's probably it. A pill capsule in their mouth, yeah, maybe like the old, uh, what do they call it, the suicide pills, right? I doubt it would be on the clothes because he could just remove it, but uh, if he wanted to do it, then that would make a lot of sense. And it would be kind of like historically accurate as well. I've always been willing to take on any kind of risk for your sake, but considering my relative lack of ability, I've spent my time keeping secrets, performing basic investigations, and waiting for the right time to come. Thank you. For all of that, Malus. Uh, have you discovered anything new in the past few years? Let me think. One conclusion I came to was that the enemy must be quite familiar with Spina di Rosula, or at least have an informant planted here. When I announced mm. orders to the organization's members on Demoiselle's behalf, I used to deliberately keep a few people in the dark and observe the reactions of the synth vendors. I like this guy. If the vendors didn't change their plans, then the individuals informed of our orders must be innocent. I was sus of it at first, honestly. If fled, however, then someone must have given them the news. Damn. After several rounds of testing and investigative tracing, I've narrowed the suspect list down to three people. Three? The first is Florent, Spina de Rosula's senior advisor. Okay. Huh? Florent? Apparently. Yes, yeah, surprising, isn't it? He was one of the people Boss trusted the most, which also means that he was someone who understood Boss. Really Don't let well. it be someone doing an inside Thanks job. That's his <laughs> position within Boss's innermost circle. He always knew our upcoming plans and could thus avoid capture this whole time. There's someone else like him, too Marcel, the head of Confrérie of Cabriere. Uncle Marcel. Oh no! Uh, what is this confrere? It's a guild in Poisson. 
A boss helped it to grow to its current size and prominence. In the beginning, they were only reselling some daily goods, but now they're one of the richest guilds around with a lot of business connections in the city. So, they're like a sister organization of Spina di Rosula? Yes. Interesting. You can say that. When we were fighting against the synth dealers, they provided us with plenty of support. It's a bit difficult to imagine someone using their own money to hunt down themselves. <laughs> The final suspect is Tiri, the man responsible for coordinating information between Spina di Rosula and the guards. That wouldn't be as bad, I feel Although like. the guards mostly leave us to our own devices, there are still many activities we have to report to the local authorities. Mm. Since Tiri is always in the know about our current activities, he could theoretically always plan one step ahead. I, I see. These? are all people who I communicate with quite regularly. To think that the enemy we've been fighting against has been right next to me all along, among those I trust the most. It's almost too hard to believe. If you want this, to investigate them, please. This is why I was skeptical of Belus. Do not alert the quarry. Judging from our experience, the enemy is extremely cautious. Mm, of course. And thank you, Malus. You've provided us with a lot of great information. True. You're too kind, my lady. I'm just doing my duty. God, I love the logo and with the anchor and the forget, roses. Uh, Holy. Boss's innocence would also mean clearing him of blame in Jacques' death. True. After that incident, Jacques' wife and daughter were taken into the Spina's care. They still live in Poisson today. If it might help, you could also pay them a visit. I can make the necessary arrangements. Hell yeah. A new case awaits, my dear partner. Leave it to me. I hope we can work together to uncover the truth and end this case once and for all. Hell yeah. Oh, God, not again. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, it's fine. It is settled then. Please excuse me and enjoy your conversation at your leisure. Sure. Thank you for arranging everything for us, Malus. Excuse me, miss. What? <laughs> Do you need anything from us? Why does that kid look like she mm -hmm. wants to murder me? Uh, what are you look? <gasps> Hello? Hey, Navia's all quiet. This isn't like her at all. What's that bother her for now? I'm sorry that I only came to visit after all this time. <sighs> after what happened, I didn't know how I was supposed to face the two of you. Ah, if it's about that, there's no need to apologize. After my husband died, Spina di Rosula sent us a lot of mora and support. I understood your guilt and apology to be genuine. But hmm. aren't all of those things nothing compared to the loss of Jacques? <sighs> I can understand the kind of pain that comes with losing a father so needlessly. You don't understand at all. I didn't know how to face you. Because I didn't know what I could possibly bring as a consolation gift. I know only the full truth could bring closure to you. And to all of us. Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I appreciate the sentiment. But you don't have to carry all that guilt. On the matter regarding my this husband... This kid is ruthless. <laughs> my daughter and I have more or less found our answer already. Would you mind sharing it with me? I really can't believe that my father could ever bring himself to shoot Jacques. I always knew that my husband's money was earned through others' suffering. He told me countless times that if he could turn back the clock, he would never go into the synth business again. He had many regrets, and felt that he took the idea of providing for his family too literally. For the longest time, he thought Mora was everything. So when Mr. Callis came to him with a proposal, he accepted it almost immediately. Damn. He tried to be as careful as he could, but even so, he was still found out by the higher-ups. They found out about his betrayal? Papa didn't say that exactly, but Papa did tell me that I should never be ungrateful. Before he left that day, what? <laughs> he told me that he had no choice. It was only later that I realized it was his final farewell to the two of us. 
Damn, wait, someone ordered Jet to take out Callus? I don't know that for sure. But you could say that's the conclusion I eventually came to. Shit. Which is why I'm the one who should feel guilty. Callus had always taken great care of us, both when he was still alive and after he passed away. Even if he fired the shot that killed my husband, it was likely in self-defense. It is impossible for me to hate him for what he had done. But Mama, why is Papa still the bad guy if he did the right thing? Because the line between right Papa and wrong is very thin. Wanted to be a good man. So why did he have to do a bad thing in the end? Well, things aren't always as they seem. You still feel like your Papa was a good man, right? Yeah, Papa was a really good man. The best in the whole world. Then you should hold on to that. If a good man had to do a bad thing, then he must have had his reasons. Regardless of whether he left you a parasol or a sword. Oh. He must have done so to give you a better life. Oh. Thank you. Man. For everything you've told me. I will definitely find the truth. The current state of things is not something I'm willing to just sit back and accept. Thank you. I'm very grateful to hear this from you. Man! Even though your personality is quite different from your father's, your determination when you speak is really similar. I really like Navia. I didn't expect to like her this really much. think so? Oh. That's the first time anyone said that to me. Man! Thanks, Jack's family. You, you little shit smile once every fucking day. Uh, are you okay, Navia? Yeah, are you? Uh, I'm fine. Don't worry. Let's investigate the three suspects next. Florence should be nearby. <sighs> and we should be able to find Thierry and Uncle Marcel in the city. You love that kid? That kid's cute. I'll get myself I thought she was just be bitchy way. at first, dude. So please don't worry. I thought the kid was just be bitchy at first with the, the rested bitch face, but then it was just sad. <laughs> oh, this guy. This guy, I don't like the red and black aesthetic because it makes me think Greetings, evil. Boss. Oh, you sound Tell so nice, I though. Of assistance today. Wait, you sound so nice, though. I'm sure you've heard about what happened at the opera house. Someone got turned into water right in front of us. Yeah, I've heard. With something that dramatic, I'm sure journalists will milk it for all it's worth. And it'll be all the talk for the next several weeks. It also reminded me, on the day that the incident happened with my father, it was raining outside. Mm -hmm. And we found some clothes left at the scene. After my partner here put the dots together for me, I feel like we should try to reopen his case. Oh, dear God. What is he going to think? Do me a favor and try to recall what happened that night. Hmm. Let me think. Mr. Callis was feeling pretty upbeat that day. So he was drinking and bantering away with us at the table. Okay. After that, he told us that he wanted to go get some fresh air. So we let him go without thinking much of it. Who knew that we would hear two gunshots ring out right after? My first reaction was that Mr. Callis's life was in danger. So I grabbed my holster and made a mad dash toward the scene. But when I got there, it was already too late. Mr. Callis was standing over a dead body with a gun in his hands. All we could do was look back and forth at each other, not knowing what to say. I believe so him. also remember two gunshots then. But I don't know. Indeed. The guard said that the first shot didn't hit anyone, while the second killed Jacques. But I've never really bought that explanation. Reason being, Mr. Callis had left his gun on the table. I even made sure to confirm that before running to the scene. Maybe the actual killer shot the person, then shot themselves with a with a primordial seawater bullet to dissolve himself. But according to the guards, that doesn't mean he couldn't have had other guns on his person. Mm. About the clothes left at the scene that you mentioned. Do you think there was a third person there who was turned into water? Very possible. At least from our perspective, my father had no reason to kill. So he would also have no reason to bring an extra gun with him. The gun he was holding probably belonged to Jacques or a third person on the scene. True. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So you're saying Mr. Callis ended up with the gun because he seized it from one of the other guys? But hold on. 
If that's what had happened, then why didn't he share the truth with any of us? He didn't even want to face the Oratrice machine, and chose instead to prove his honor in a duel. Yeah, it doesn't add up. Did he lose all faith in the courts after seeing someone dissolve right in front of his eyes? Huh. Mm, about that, Malus told me a thing or two. So, I think I can understand why he committed to the duel. I'll tell you mm. everything once Maybe the not whole fully, truth has been revealed. I Maybe not fully. Then I'll leave Mr. Callus's honor in your hands, boss. More information is always going to be good. Just say one more thing. The whole Callus the unfaithful epithet has been a thorn in my side since the day it was invented. Many people have laughed at me for still calling him Mr. Callus, even after so many years have passed. Aww. But it was Mr. Callus's trust that allowed me to rise through the ranks of Spina di Rosula and live the life I lead today. No matter what others might say, he'll always be the man I respect the most. And he'll always be my boss. Aww. Don't worry. I will definitely find the truth. I like this guy. You and all our other comrades at the Spina deserve to know the truth as well. Man! I feel bad that he was even a suspect, dude. Oh, God. Oh, Maybe jump is right here, dude. I don't trust this guy too much. Hey, Thierry, it's me. Oh, now, what brings you here, Miss Navia? I've heard that you made quite the name for yourself at the Opera House. I keep saying I don't trust these people, but I do still think it was a third person and not any of these. But out of all of them and the jobs they did and how close they were, this guy seems to be the most likely. Oh, so you've got news of that already. Oh, okay. Hey, <laughs> I'm also a member of the guards, you know. The way you make it sound, people would think I was sent off to Poisson because I had done something wrong. Oh, okay. Are you sure there isn't a little bit of truth in that? Under normal circumstances, shouldn't you have been called back to the city already? <laughs> I mean, where I work is really up to me. Let's just say I enjoy the ambiance of Poisson. Callus did a fantastic job running the town, building Spina di Rasula from the ground up and clearing many obstructions in my way. It would be next to impossible for me to find a similarly easy but high paying job in the city. <sighs> Anyway, enough chit chat. Are these two friends of yours? We. Oui. You uh, here for some formal business? A wee wee. Ah yes, these two are my partners. What happened at the opera house made us realize that Linny's case and my father's may be related. We're trying to reinvestigate the details of my father's old case. Ah, I get it. You think there might be more to the case now that we know people can be dissolved into water, right? I was also flabbergasted when I first heard of it. Okay, the fact that he put that together himself? Sus. I'm just saying, sus, because Navia didn't even put that together. If you want to go through the original files from your father's case, I can help you look for them. That'd be much appreciated. Thank you. Actually, I have another question. Do you have the authority to dispatch Gardamex? Of course. Without them, I couldn't possibly handle Poisson on my own. Why do you ask? We definitely can't use them to forcefully get more evidence for your father's case. Well, mm. you see, just recently, we were attacked by a horde of unnumbered Gardamex in the city. No serial number. So, <laughs> if you hypothetically wanted to do something against me, all you would need to do was get rid of the Mecha serial numbers and send <clears throat> them after me. Oh, she's just straight up. She's just straight up accusing right now. <laughs> then you think too highly of my abilities. Dispatching Mecca is very different from controlling them. If I had to make an analogy, when you order a dish, the chef will make it for you. You can ask the chef to cook, but not to massage your shoulders or carry your baggage. <laughs> If you try to make unreasonable demands, the chef would just think you're out of your mind and ignore you completely. The same goes for me and my Gardamex. <laughs> Removing a serial number is also not as easy as you might think. There are a lot of complex steps to it, and it's almost impossible to keep it a secret. So I can promise you, those mecha were definitely private units. 
If I was him, dude, I'd be so pissed off that I was getting accused if it wasn't me. They're certainly not cheap. So, whoever their owner is must be super rich, powerful, or both. Now that you mention it, though... Fatui. ...in the synth business would definitely be profitable enough to afford this. Try to think if Alakita would have any good reason to be doing this. I don't think so, but... Maybe she does and we'll find out later. Makes sense. Oh, <laughs> then you're officially in the clear, Thierry. Jesus Christ, Navia. Objection! <laughs> well, thank you for the vote of confidence, Navia. Jokes aside, I'd like to wish you all the best with your investigation. I'll be staying in the city for a little while, so just come find me if you need any support from the guards. Hell yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that's all three. Contact Marcel. Hello? Hello. How may I help you? Looking for Marcel. Marcel. Could you please let him know? You can just say Navia's looking for him. Sure. I will let him know right away. Okay. After waiting for a while, Marcel arrives in a hurry. Ah, Navia. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not as young as I used to be, so my legs are giving out a bit. Oh, it's all right, Uncle Marcel. There's no need to stress. I just wanted to talk to you briefly about what happened in the Opera House. I'm sure you saw everything too, right? Yes, uh, I've never seen anything so strange. Mm. Oh, you were at the Opera House too? That's right. I went there with Navia to see the magic show. Who knew it would turn into a whole murder mystery? True, I mean, nobody I could have expected Mr. it, to be fair. sleuthing work. Quite impressive. Well, thank you. To beat the Hydro Archon at her own game on her own turf, I can already imagine everyone in Fontaine discussing your exploits over a few glasses of wine. We did kind of kill it. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to become the talk of drunkards. You already are. Have you not met Venny? <laughs> Apologies. It's just how Fontaine is as a nation. Everyone loves drama and theatrics. Uncle Marcel, you've also noticed that other thing, right? The fact that humans can dissolve in water? Yes. Mm. I was reminded of your father's case right away. Is that what you're investigating now? Exactly. I, I still don't have much solid proof, but I can sense that the other side has already begun to act. Oh, and what makes you say that? We were attacked on Araneus by some unnumbered Gardamax. And there was also an attempt to get me to drink water from the Primordial Sea. If not for the vigilance of my partner, I probably wouldn't even be here talking to you right now. Listen, that was nothing to do with vigilance. Paimon literally just mistook your drink for hers and was just greedy. I'm sorry, but that's the oh, truth. you're giving us too much credit. Wasn't that's the truth. You protected us? Yes. Alas, it seems things are heating up again. The peace that Callus sought so dearly will soon become a thing of the past. But rest assured, Navia, Poisson will always remain a safe haven for you. If you're scared, you can always return there. If anyone dares to lay their hands on you there, the Confrérie of Cabriere will use its funds to the last Mora to bring them to justice. Thank you, Uncle Marcel. Hmm. But I don't intend to go into hiding. I'm going to strike while the iron's hot. Do you have any new thoughts on my father's case? Ah, <sighs> about that. Sorry, my age is catching up with me. So it'll take me a while to recall my memory. She must have let the Traveler mention in rain. Uh-uh, that wouldn't have saved a life. The thing that saved a life was Paimon drinking her drink, dude. 100%. The Conferee was responsible for that banquet. So I was out and about the whole time, making sure things were running smoothly. I didn't even have the time to drink with the guests. Then I heard the sound of a gunshot, and the rest was history. Oh, it's okay. No need to push yourself. We'll ask around some more. See if there are any valuable clues elsewhere. Sounds good. Just let me know if you ever need Mora. Hmm. All my wealth comes from Callus's patronage and support. I'll spend however much it takes to clear his name. I don't trust him. Not one bit, dude. It's... Oh, I can see... Dude, I hope it's not him. Boy. He did say one. I really hope it's not him because I, I think this would be the worst person for Navia for it to be. Where are we going? Up here. We've talked to all three suspects, purely based on their conversations with me. None of them sounded particularly suspicious. Uh, yeah, none of them really stood out as a suspect. I... Mm, 
I, I suppose that's to be expected. Suspicious, though. yes. Suspect. If a single mm. conversation's all that's needed to find them out, then my father wouldn't have needed to investigate the case for so many years. Anyway, even though we didn't make a breakthrough, let's still compile what we were able to find. Hmm. But where should we start? Hmm. Jacques' motive. Ah, <laughs> That palace probably only ended up with the gun because of circumstance. Hmm, that makes sense. According to Jacques' family members, he already told them that he had been discovered and that he had no choice before he left home that day. True. <laughs> if I had to guess, he probably received an order from the synth boss to kill my father. Had he refused, he and his family's lives would have been forfeit. So, Jacques fired the first shot? I feel like there's stuff like this. You know when you don't see it happen and you try to pitch, like, uh, place things together in your mind? It makes it so hard to, to expect, especially when you only just learn about the thing. If I was Jack, I wouldn't have fired a shot at all. Yeah, it's weird. I'm, I'm trying to piece together all the tiny bits of information we have to make a coherent story, and it there's still missing pieces. Oh? And why is that? Doesn't add up yet. Could he guarantee his safety after killing Callus? Could he guarantee his family's safety after killing Callus? Oh, that's a good point. Jack probably already knew that he was just being used as a tool for murder. Mm -hmm. And once he had completed his mission, he'd be of no more use to his boss. Yup. Huh. So, what would make more sense from his perspective would be to turn his back on the Order and seek protection from my father. Seems the third person was the one who derailed everything. Mm, makes sense. But without evidence, that's still just a theory. A game theory. Beside Jock, the attack from the Gardamex has been bothering me quite a bit as well. It's obvious that our enemy has become more antsy after the secret of the primordial seawater was revealed. Hmm. Do you think he knew, even then, that we'd follow this lead to the end? Given everything that's happened since, uh, it's quite possible. But who among the three suspects would have the ability to control privately owned Gardamex? I know he said he didn't. Or wouldn't be able to, but I feel like he could have he could have managed it honestly. Out of the three of these, I kind of want to go with with Marcel just because of the sauciness here, just to see what they say. But in my head, the the one that would be able to control the Gardamex would be Thierry. Let's just go with Marcel just in case. Uncle Marcel, uh, hmm, my father did really trust him, and they worked together on a large number of projects. God, I hope it's not him. Maybe that's how he got to know Jacques. I hope it's and not. And the funds from the Confrérie. He could also afford a large number of Gardamex. It's still really hard for me to imagine, though. After all, Uncle Marcel has been around since I was just a child. Please don't let it be him. Also, wouldn't this mean he has been spending a whole lot of mora and energy to fight his own synth business? Maybe it's someone else. Okay, I'm gonna go with Thierry. I feel like this is this is actually the most likely Thierry, out of this say? list. Huh. It is possible that he's figured out a way to convert the Gardamex for personal use. But I didn't feel like he was lying when he was talking to us about the Mecca. I also don't think he'd be able to keep that kind of tampering under wraps. I just don't see how the other guy would be able to control the, the Mecca, though. Yeah. Had he actually tampered with the Mecca, we'd be able to prove it with a simple check of the guard's inventory. If the Mecca were taken from the guards, it should be pretty easy to find out when and how that happened. Okay, I guess I'll go with Florent then. Florent? Florent. Uh, it is true that he was closest to my father, and thus had the best chance of learning about his dealings with Jacques. But as Spina di Rosula's advisor, his work mostly deals with personnel and security. So he shouldn't have much means when it comes to finances. Because money? Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. Because money doesn't really work out here unless he's taking money from these, which... Uh, but I feel like that would leave too many trails, right? Like paper trails? I don't know. So you're saying he's too broke to afford a mecha army? Exactly. He can't. And even if he could, I don't think he would be able to dispatch a whole group so quickly. I agree. I don't <sighs> think it's him. Who could it be? So if it's a mysterious third person, I still think the uncle, dude. But at the same time, if it's someone random that we haven't even spoken to, it'd be cool if it was Alakido. alakido has got to make an appearance at some point. Oh, God. Um, wait, what? Uh, which of the three suspects was most likely to have committed the crime? I want to go with Marcel. You know, if you think everything through, 
Uncle Marcel is indeed the most suspicious of them all. I 100% think he is, out of all three. Could we be missing other suspects? Malus didn't know about the people turning into water thing when he narrowed it down to these three, did he? <sighs> Malus has always been very reliable, and his judgment of others' trustworthiness has been fair and well considered. True. When he laid out his case for the three, the rationale he gave me made a lot of sense as well. Hmm. This is tough, dude. The suspect is knowledgeable about the Spina's internal affairs, has the means to dispatch Mecca to assassinate us, and possesses significant intellect and foresight. <sighs> Even if I don't want to believe it, I'm starting to see how things could all tie back to Uncle Marcel. He's somebody who's very close to you, after all. Well, we still have another trump card on top of all the theorizing and speculating. The synth production base. Yes. Malus did say that charging straight in there would be extremely risky. But we don't have any other options right now. We need far more solid proof before we can hope to go charging in on our enemy. Navia, here you are. Oh, huh? I've been looking for you. Huh? Aren't you the guy from the guards? Did something happen? Yeah. News came from Arenaeus just after you left. We've got another trial on our hands. Oh? Wasn't that place built specifically for holding trials? What's so newsworthy about this one? I know, I know. But they said the person they're putting on trial is a Fatui harbinger oh. called Tartaglia. <laughs> oh. Wait, dude, I totally forgot about the, the Tartak stuff in the trailer. Uh-oh. Child? What? Is that someone you know? Yeah. Yeah. We know him. <laughs> Maybe even a little too well. Totally, wow. dude. He's been accused of being the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. There's no shot. It's absurd, don't you think? Yes. Wait, how? None of our investigations have had anything to do with him. That's what I thought was strange about it, so I came to tell you the news right away. If the charge against him stands, then it'll be next to impossible to get the guards to support any of our planned investigations. Right, because they'll think they've already found the culprit. Yeah. And it'll be a lot harder than to clear Mr. Callis's name. Um. I understand. <sighs> well, partner, what do you think we should do? We. S uh. Um. My hand is literally not even on my mouse right now. Let's split up. Huh? Split up? What do you mean? You can go to Erin, yes, while I'll go investigate that place. I'm confident in my combat abilities. <laughs> Just as expected of my partner. Since this is a trial about the serial disappearances case, the culprit's attention will be focused on Arrhenius, leaving his home base wide open. You're right. This is our best opportunity. <laughs> All right, then. Let's do this. I'll stall them at the Opera House and charge Marcel as the true culprit. I won't have any chance of making that charge stick, though, unless we find more evidence. Oh, God. It'll be up to you to make it back in time and hand the decisive evidence to me. Leave it to me. I want to make it back in time because I want to see Tartag. <laughs> we'll help you, just like you helped us in Lenny's trial. Yeah. Demoiselle, please allow us <gasps> to accompany you. Legends. I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Malou, Silver, when did you two get here? We heard that you'll be leaving Poisson and figured that you might require our assistance. It's our hope that your confidence will be bolstered with the two of us by your side. <laughs> Thank you so much. Then, let's make haste for Arrhenius. Paimon, Traveler, I'll see you at the Opera House. Sounds good. Suspect analysis. Okay. Um. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now that Navia has set out for Arrhenius, we should also get going. The location has already been marked on the map, so let's head over. Huh. According to Malus's info, oh, the shit. production base is underwater. Let's go and try to find the entrance. I have... Finally found it. Huh. So this is the entrance that leads to the synth production base. It sure doesn't seem out of the ordinary at all. I don't want it to stand now. Wait, this is what they showed in the trailer? Uh, I'm sure what we find inside will be extraordinary. Ah, you're right. An important place like this is bound to have a ton of protective measures and mechanisms. Wait, I just realized she's Nothing's speaking. probably arguing up a storm right now to stall for us. How about we give me the What? Weird. Okay. 
Very interesting. Physics are kind of odd, but... It would appear that I must repeat my question again, Mr. Tartaglia. Oh, Tartaglia? Do you the charge that you are the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case? Absolutely not. It makes zero sense. To be perfectly honest, I don't understand your country's complicated court system <laughs> or the reason why I'm being charged with something I've never even heard of. However, I did hear that people who have been charged can choose to participate in a duel to clear their name. Is that right? In which case... As long as I accept the charge, I can have an all-out fight with that champion duelist, Clorend, right? Jesus I've got Christ. To admit, that's one of the most enticing offers I've ever received. When I privately sparred with her last time, she was obviously holding back. Real disappointing. Hey, don't you understand? Oh, God. You're currently the prime suspect for a major case. This isn't the place for you to be looking for fights. Oh? Sounds like the Hydro Archon wants to lecture me on the ways of the Opera House. Then why don't you duel me too? Oh god. I'm the kind of student that learns best in the heat of battle. You're so cocky. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Alas, it would appear that communication with the defendant is going poorly. And we have made very little progress. Well, Nivellet's VA in is case, too good. Let me explain everything from the very beginning again. The goal of this trial is to determine the culprit behind the serial disappearances case. That case had nothing to do with him. You've got the wrong man. Yep. Huh? What's going on? Why is she interjecting again? Oh my God, look, chat, a full audience. <laughs> I told you it couldn't be one of the Fatui harbingers. Miss Navia, this is the second time you've interrupted the court proceedings. I only tolerated your behavior last time because you were able to provide the court with a key eyewitness. But that was an exception rather than standard court protocol. I can very well charge you with contempt of court for your interjections. Damn. Oh, please. Did you ever think I had any respect for this place's pointless theatrics? Damn. We can put that discussion aside for now. <laughs> I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to charge the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. And if my charges prove true, then Tartaglia here will be proven innocent by default, correct? Oh, a young lady has charged in and offered to clear my name. How fascinating. Well, I'd gotten half bored to death by all these rules and procedures anyway. So I'll take you up on that offer. Sweet. So, Your Honor, is there nothing else for me to do now? You may take a seat for now in the audience, but that doesn't mean the suspicions against you have been lifted. Okay, I now, like where this is now. going. Who is the person oh, God. would like to charge instead? Are they here? That person is. I think we have to go with Marcel, dude. I really don't want it to be him, but I think we have to go with him. He is the most obvious. He's the only one that lied or got wrong the number of gunshots. He's just sus in every way, shape, and form. I'm going with Marcel. Marcel, the head of Confrérie of Cabriere. Uh -huh. Huh? What Confrérie? never heard of them in my life i've heard of them but weren't they spina di rosula's sister organization <laughs> oh is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation please let me remind you miss navia kind of twisted honestly it's an incredibly serious matter committing to the charge also means taking on the legal responsibilities associated with it oh god and if the charge fails depending on the circumstances you may also be charged with the crime of making a false accusation Knowing this, do you still wish to charge this man? Say no. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. I do. In that case, I declare the charge to be valid. Miss Navia and attorneys, please take your places on the court. Okay. Members of the guards, please contact Mr. Marcel right away so that he may stand trial. Great. Ah, uh, after some time, I shot to confuse Marcel. He's brought us down. <laughs> I don't think it's any of them. I think it's a brighter person. You will not require an attorney. No, I'm kidding. Correct? I think it is this guy. He's suspicious. Uh, apologies, sir. It all just happened so quickly. I still haven't figured out what's going on. I think an attorney won't be necessary. This is probably just a misunderstanding between me and Navia. Very well. In that case, since both sides have now arrived, Miss Navia, <sighs> please present your charges. I would like to take everyone back to three years ago, to the case of 
Callus the Unfaithful. Oh, God. Only through elucidating what really happened in that case can we connect all the dots for the serial disappearances case. Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed your father? Come on, why would I do that? Callus was my benefactor, and remember both you and I only ran to the scene when we heard the sound of a gun. A gun. If that's enough to make me a suspect, wouldn't that make everyone at that banquet a suspect as well? I... Uh, I think there's no point in getting into the specifics right now. The audience doesn't even have the big picture yet. Even I'm... <laughs> struggling to remember some details of that case. That's sus. Would actually make quite a bit of sense for it to be the Archon as well, maybe. Surely not. Exactly correct, Your Honor. I must refresh everyone's memory about that case before I can explain my charge and reasoning. I see. In which case, I will recount the findings about that case as originally recorded by Maison Guardianage. Is there anyone you don't suspect? Well, here's the thing, though. It, it, it could be the Orchard as well, On right? The because the murder, Spina di Rosula hosted a large banquet when they in dissolved, a countryside estate owned by the she turned into an ocean. It. Okay. During the banquet, all attending guests heard two gunshots from the courtyard. When the mm. guests arrived at the scene, they found the primary suspect, Callus, holding a gun, while his acquaintance, Jacques, lay dead from a gunshot wound. Indeed. The guards' investigation did not recover any other firearms from the scene. As a result, they concluded that the suspect's first shot must have missed, while the second must have taken Jacques' life. I feel like that's bullshit. The suspect did not dispute this conclusion, and also declined to defend himself in court. Instead, he chose to prove his innocence through a duel. Callus was defeated by champion duelist Clarand in the ensuing duel, and soon succumbed to the injuries. Do you think this could potentially be foreshadowing for Tartalia? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. These Ignore that. are the known facts about the case. Death flags. <laughs> the one with the motive to kill was Jacques, not my father. Mm. And even so, Jacques still had no reason to pull the trigger. Uh, in truth, the third person shot Jacques first and was shot in turn by my father when my father seized the gun from him. After that, the true culprit turned the third person into water, erasing all traces of him from the scene. <clears throat> Thank you for the summary, Your Honor. Of course, the guard's conclusion appeared quite sensible to us at the time. However, we should revisit the case now that we've gained new information about the abilities of water from the primordial sea. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, the, the unknown person, because there's a third person there. How did... Okay, okay, okay. We're just going to go with this. The victim's family confirms that Jacques had thoughts of assassinating Callus when he set out for the banquet. However, in the end, he reconsidered and instead shared everything with Callus, hoping to seek the latter's protection. Unfortunately for Jacques, the true culprit had already considered this possibility and had sent out another assassin. To confirm the third person, it would be the clothing. <laughs> Apparently it wouldn't be the clothing though, maybe the dissolving then. A pile of clothing was found at the scene. The guards once believed they were used by Jacques as a costume to disguise himself. But now, it is clear that the clothes were proof that there was a third person at the scene and that they were turned into water after committing the murder. Since it was raining that day, the culprit was confident that they could use the rain to wash away all traces of their dissolved accomplice. But the clothing's wrong! This system sucks, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like the other one where it's not this circle bit, but the, the other one where you gotta connect the evidences. That one's good, where, where you connect the evidences. This is fucking stupid, dude. According to chat, these wouldn't need refuting because they're similar. I mean, because they, they're Jacques, accurate, but they do still. Callus, only for Callus to wrestle the gun from him and kill him instead. Realizing this, Interesting. the true culprit caused the hired assassin to dissolve into water, leading everyone to believe Callus was responsible for Jacques' murder. Oops. The hell? Did it skip the second part? Successful refutation. Nice. Okay, let's go. Did I skip the second part? Ah, so that's what happened. Wait, 
You're telling me something as dangerous as water from the primordial sea has been used for all these years? Mm -hmm. What a great theory. It also explains Callus's and Jacques' respective motives. I guess they didn't shoot each other after all. Mr. Marcel, you are the one being charged with the crime. <laughs> You should provide a rebuttal if you wish to prove your innocence. <laughs> I was like, wait, this all adds up. Yeah, true, actually. Ah, but I think I agree with everything Navia just said. Oh, in fact, there was nothing in her speech that directly implicated me. Then, may I ask some questions? In my opinion, we primarily need to determine two things. Uh-huh. One, do you have the evidence to back up your claims? <sighs> I'm afraid not. At least not at this very moment. Boo! <laughs> if you don't have any evidence, you should just go home. And if your only form of entertainment is watching a real-life crime take place and then the fucking judges send people down for life and you laugh at it, you should just go fucking home, bitch. Cringe. I may not have the evidence with me, but I know where I could go to collect it. Yeah, if shut up, up, NPC. If deserted clothes against a record of people who went missing around the same time, we should be able to find a match. Considering the serial disappearances case, the guards probably kept careful records of all missing persons from around that time, regardless of age or gender. That makes sense to me. Monsieur Nivellet, I would consider this to be a reasonable investigative direction. Huh. As for... I feel like for reasons yeah, acting did. a little different today. I was today. just about to say that. I feel like after the last trial, she's like, she's learning or... Maybe trying harder, I don't know. Maybe she's scared of embarrassing herself again? Yep. Alternatively, she's become more diligent after charging an innocent citizen in the last trial. Mm -hmm. My second question has to do with the ensuing duel. If the truth is indeed as you described... Oh, God. Then why didn't Mr. Callus explain himself in court? If he had testified that a person had been dissolved, he could have at least mounted a defense. I thought about this too. He was ill. And the answer is actually pretty simple. He felt there were things that were more important to him. The dissolving power of water from the primordial sea is an important secret for the true culprit of the serial disappearances case. My father could have exposed it for mm. all to see, but he chose to take it to the grave. I think he wanted to, like, to time, protect her as well, right? Was in dire straits, That's what we said. And his reputation had already been shattered. He had no guarantee that going forward with the truth would allow the culprit to be brought to justice. What was certain, however, was that it would paint a gigantic target on my back. I love how there's a question of who the fuck is going to believe a person can be dissolved unless they witness it with their own eyeballs. In a land where people throw fire from their fists. <laughs> someone dissolving? I'd believe it. I'd believe someone pulling a burger out of the asshole did. Boss once told me that Demoiselle <laughs> had already been selected as the next target of the serial disappearances case. Nice. What? If the secret had gotten out, the culprit would have fought an all-out war with Espina right there and then. I wouldn't have been the only one in danger. All of us would have stood to lose our lives. Of course, the guards might eventually figure out the truth of the matter and determine that we were in the right. But what good would that do? How can a hollow verdict protect anyone? Had this opera house ever given my father any kind of confidence in its brand of justice, Spina di Rosula would have had no reason to exist. She's right. But by staying silent, we retain the ability to deter our opponents and continue the stalemate. I was able to become Spina di Rosula's president, which made me harder to target, as well as giving me more time to grow and learn. And once I have figured out the truth and stepped up to the challenge, I will do what this opera house cannot and restore my father's truth and honor back to him. Bro, I love the sounds whenever it cuts to Nuvi and you hear the, the gears and cogs turning behind him. So, you mean to say... Your father intended to die in the duelist's ring? That's right. Yep. Do you have any proof? Of course. All you need is to ask his opponent, Cloran. True, actually. Oh, God. I don't need your apology, your guilt, or your support from the shadows. You don't have to do anything for my sake. Oh. But since he entrusted his will to you, Clorand. You should tell us the truth about his sacrifice. 
Um, so... During the duel, did you believe that Callus was intending to die? Yes, I did. As a champion duelist, I've fought many battles and taken a countless number of dishonored lives. In my line of work, I've seen all kinds of people give their all for the faintest hope to continue living. Some were determined, others passionate, and some even manic and twisted. I feel like her eyes move a lot more than other characters when she gets like a, a bit of emotions. Just one I like look it. and I can tell if a duelist is hoping to live or if they're looking to die. I hereby swear on my name and honor as a champion duelist that Mr. Callus never intended to leave the ring alive. Damn. Since that's your testimony, I have no more questions. It appears there really are good grounds to reopen this case. I concur. However, Miss Navia, you still have not explained the link between- Right? Oh. What she said was fascinating, but kind of beside the point. Wait, weren't they just the talking about the serial this case. disappearances case? Mm -hmm. Of course, Your Honor. The two cases are connected via a matter of timing. I'm taking it off of auto, dude. I don't In trust it. In my father's case, the culprit intended to kill both Jacques and Callus. As a result, they planned to act after hearing two gunshots. Ch I didn't click shit. I didn't click anything. And at the end of Linny's trial, the culprit also only dissolved the victim in front of everyone because they realized they were at risk of being identified. The culprit could only time their actions so precisely if they were already at the scene. Hmm. Coincidentally, Marcel attended both the banquet and the trial. So that's why you suspected me. Ah, even after hearing your reasoning, I still can't help but find it a little preposterous. Yeah? I'm used to it, though. You've always been an impulsive and sentimental child, Navia. It's one of your most endearing traits. No need to appeal to pathos. <laughs> I won't try to refute your points one by one, but even if everything you just said was true, can you prove that I was the only person present at both events? Huh? On top of that, does a person have to be physically present to control the timing? Can't someone remotely monitor the place? I... Uh... Oof. Don't know what she can say to that. The, the Mecca. I know that even with that, you might still think you can reduce the list of suspects with some further investigations until I'm the only one left on the list. Alas. Who won't feel at least a little hurt by an accusation of murder from a girl you see as your own daughter? Mm, guilt tripping now, I see. But if I were to dismiss this completely, you'd also think I'm not being considerate of your feelings. Ah, well. Let Uncle Marcel teach you another lesson. Okay. Do you know what the biggest flaw in your reasoning is? Uh-oh. I suppose you're gonna tell me anyways. It's timing again. I'm a businessman by trade. From that standpoint, there's no reason for me to kidnap young women. It's a high-risk action with nothing to gain. In addition, I left my home in Snezhnaya when I was young to come to Poisson and work in some trade. My business only thrived when I received Callus's patronage. Uh... Interesting. But the disappearances began before I ever stepped foot in Fontaine. Uh... Mm. I do apologize, demoiselle. This was my mistake. No, it's not your fault. I'm sure he had come prepared. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Would you like to check the date of my first business license against the first known case of the serial disappearances? Yes, actually. You can also take a look at my border entry records, or ask my friends and family when I left Snezhnaya for the first time. Could those records and testimonies do something to appease the unspeakable anguish in your heart? Oh, seems like she got the wrong guy. Nah. At this rate, Navia will be convicted for falsely accusing him. Absolutely no shot. I think you've done a superb job of dissecting your father's feelings as he neared the end of his life. But aren't you going against all of his wishes and expectations right now? He wished for you to become more rational, collected, and conscientious instead of dwelling only on your own feelings. Once you've learned to be more considerate of others' feelings and to stop rushing headlong into things, you'd have met most of his expectations. 
No, I don't trust him still at all now. This isn't just about me. Not after that. He never has been. No, he's too prepared. The biggest difference between me and the rest of the victims is that I still have the ability to search for the truth. While that same agency has long been taken from then. The people whose families were destroyed by synth abuse, the people who lost their loved ones to the serial disappearances, and the people who suffered tragic ends due to their sense of justice. Many people's images are flashing before my eyes. I'm sure some are coming to those of you in the audience as well. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? Oh, wait. <sighs> oh, so you do know that name. I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. I was waiting for you to say that. Wait. A little while earlier at the entrance of the synth production base. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you kidding me, dude? That's where we're going to barge in with the evidence needed, isn't it, dude? I'm, I can see it happening now. Whoa. The floor is going up. It's an elevator, Paimon. Damn, this is it because of this mechanism in the middle? That guy really prepared a lot of stuff for this place. This place is pretty as hell, dude. That statue is cool. Oh my god. I love this. Wait, this is so cool, dude. Paimon thinks we need to go up, but Paimon doesn't see a way. Oh. Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find a hidden mechanism that'll show us the way up. Can we dive in domains? Yo, wait, I can't, th wait, this changes, this changes everything. <laughs> I kind of love this. Open sesame. Whoa, I fell. Uh-oh. Damn, this is so cool, dude. I like the, uh, the design, the clockwork mechanism designs. The water level is rising. Now oh, we can switch shit. to the top. Ways away from where we need to go. Yeah, Paimon. Listen, I'm just taking in the scenery real quick, okay? Open sesame. Oh, it's gonna rise again. Oh, trailer moment, dude. Oh, this is sick. Whew. After all that, we finally made it to the innermost sanctum. Hell yeah. Ooh, this looks interesting. Though, as expected. The mastermind isn't here. If I'm not mistaken, he's being charged by Davia as we speak. <sighs> That's right. Then let's hurry up and find some evidence so we can get back to the opera house and help Davia. What is... Oh, that's probably the... That's the primordial shit, isn't it? Oh, I'm <laughs> stuck as traveler as well. Let's mm. see what's written here. Nothing escapes Detective Paimon's eyes. Okay. Navia's father. Oh, oh this God. Needs to be an investigation report on him. Probably related to his and Jack's case. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. It's about finding someone to assassinate Jacques and Callus because of a lack of confidence that Jacques himself would go through with it. Hmm. This should prove the existence of the third person, right? Is there anything else? Hmm. We still determined the exact content of the key information Callus has passed on to certain members of his organization. Huh? The old dog's a real menace to deal with. Even if he abides by the promise he's made to us, he will still have the upper hand. Huh. He can act whenever he wants to make our lives miserable. The only option left is to remove him from the picture entirely. I concur. Let's send someone to kill him. He won't declare war as long as we don't touch Navia. Oh, <sighs> seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence between the higher-ups. They planned this well in advance. <laughs> They're all just so evil. Damn. Okay. Wait, this is... This is taking a... A turn that I didn't <laughs> expect it to, honestly. Treasure! <laughs> Pink accessories, a hair tie, a necklace, even a makeup box. 
We should take it for dare. There's a name too. Oh, Paimon sees it too, but <gasps> why are all these cute things labeled with different girls' names? I changed my mind. Dare wouldn't want it. What the hell? They probably belong to the victims. Huh? You mean the girls from the serial disappearances? They were brought here? And then they were turned into water. And all the boxes of things. These names. Wait. That means... Does that mean when they were turned into water, the water's got to go somewhere? Does that mean this pool might be the girls? Aha. Uh -huh. oh, I said the bottles. I assumed it was where it was collected it from, but I don't know. There's so much scent here. And so many bottles of ingredients that probably just contain the waters of the primordial sea. Got to admit, this looks cool as hell, though. Whatever's in these bottles looks so cool. There are so many. Hmm. Mixing in progress. Ready to drink. Stock sample? Huh. Huh. They've also got all the synth pretty clearly labeled. Whoa, there's even fruit flavored synth? <laughs> that definitely proves that this is where they produce synth. Yep, it's super obvious. Can we drink? Can we try it? See what it's like? Okay, let's element I'll side it. Oh! Oh! Uh? Oh, that's weird. It's like anti anti element. Maybe Usia or Numa. Usia probably. I think I think Usia is the the abyssal energy, right? That's odd. What's this over here? Looks like some kind of place for research. Experiment number sixteen aims to verify Jacob Ingold's research conclusions on the primordial sea, and use his theory as a foundation to achieve a breakthrough. Okay. The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea. Female specimens 22, 23, and 24 were dissolved. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Paimon, calm down. Sorry, traveler. Paimon will try her best. It's just that Paimon's never read something so scary before. How could someone write something that terrible in such a matter-of-fact tone? You read the rest. Paimon's too scared to keep going. Oh, the goal of the researcher is to save his lover, a woman called Vignair, who was dissolved. Oh my god, is that going to be the ocean that we saw? Wait, and the person is, is Vacher, probably. The researcher, Vacher. So that's why you did all of these experiments. Wait, that actually makes sense. Wait. Did he really think he'd be able to find a way just by dissolving people over and over? That's just insane! There's another name here, Vasher. I fucking knew it! Huh? It makes sense! Isn't that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought he was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. Well, the research he's the researcher. I'm big brain. <sighs> you mean Vasher is the one who did all of these... Uh, experiments? Yes, he signed off on a bunch of the experiment reports. The voice I heard for the fountain was probably Vignier. So that's it. Vache was no victim, but personally took his lover and... No, that's not it either. If that's the case, why would he want people to resurface from the water? There must be one of this that meets the eye. In any case, Paimon will write it all down. Hmm... Interesting. It is kind of odd. All right, let's 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 actually take a look at this. The pool. Oh, look! There's an important looking basin over here. And it's full of water. Full of something. Must be water from the primordial sea. That means this is where they make all the synth. Yeah. And that special water is the main ingredient. If you dilute it with normal water, you'll get synth. But the pure stuff can dissolve a human. Paima will take notes on this incriminating evidence. Nice. We should jump in and test it out, dude. Almost everything here, and it seems like our theories were spot on. But who really is this Vasher? Yeah, we haven't found anything that reveals his true identity. No wonder even Nervalet wasn't able to find anything. Whoever it is probably destroyed everything to do with that name a long time ago. I feel like Paimo saying Nouvellet sounds weird compared to other characters for some reason. I kind of like it. That way, even if we bring all this back to the opera, 
We won't be able to identify the true culprit. Clever, but maybe not clever enough. Let's look again. Sure thing. Paimon won't admit defeat to this guy either. <laughs> I thought she said shitting. <laughs> shitting. I'm scared, traveler. <laughs> I'm shitting. Do we have to look at the same things again? You take that side and Paimon will take this side. Okay. Check everything carefully. We'll find something for sure. All right, let's go. After some time. Ugh. Damn it. it all. And can't even find snacks either. Oh, I found it. Never mind. Oh, really? What Paimon see? It's a diary. Yeah. Isn't that Vashe's lover's name? We should just go back to the fountain, dude. And talk again. Drink some of the the and the water here. I found her diary. Let's see. Aw. It's just a normal diary chronicling their love story. She was so sweet too. Aw. Oh, my mom feels even worse for her now. Look at this page. She made a list of baby names. Huh? What? So many. A whole page is worth. They're all crossed out. Was she unhappy with all of them? It's like Elon Musk's child's name. The final name she decided on was... Marcel. What? Wait, but... Marcel's pretty old. <gasps> Has this case been going on for so long that he's Fache and Veneer's grown son? Let's go. We figured it out. hasn't figured it out yet. You just said it out loud. What do you... Uh, Paimon! <laughs> Thank you for the blessings, chat. And oh. whose image do you see, Marcel? Oh, God. Is it a man named Vache? <laughs> oh, so you do know that name. I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. Bullshit. I was waiting for you to say that. Traveler! Nadia, we're back! Uh, as expected of my partner. Oh, I God. just knew you'd return in the nick of time. Objection, Your Honor. Just how often do you intend to flout the rules of this court? It's all right, Monsieur Nervalet. Given their confidence, I expect they've found the crucial evidence. Yep. A hundred percent. You say you've never heard of Vacher. This notebook says otherwise. Also, so does a couple other things. But this notebook says otherwise, specifically. But the truth of it, Marcel, ah! is that you've always been Vache. Voice. Oh, I love huh? this. We've investigated your lair and we already know everything. After your lover, Veneer, was dissolved, you kept abducting young women to experiment on the hopes of bringing her back to you. You even created Marcel as a new identity and destroyed all records of your past as Vache. Damn, dude. So that's it. Even the villains in opera performances rarely go that far. And with that, Marcel's motive has now been established. This information regarding your past also dismantles your prior timing defense. Well, Marcel, do you know where you went wrong? Uh-oh. You fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away, instead of paying attention to the living people around you. That's still so sad, but you went about it in a dickish way, dude. Hella. Really bad way. So, you never noticed how we changed, or how we grew as individuals. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. Or our determination to see things through. Yes, Silva, tell him. Your determination. <laughs> you good? Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise, the trial will move on to the next stage. Do you think? Do you really think I wanted to do any of this? Yes. Pay attention to you. <laughs> what for? Have you ever paid attention to me? Ever empathized with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve right in front of your eyes? No. No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. 
Listen, I understand why he'd be pissed that no one believed him, because it is kind of unbelievable to say, oh, yeah, she dissolved in front of my eyes, but you fucking killed, like, 20-plus women, you dumb shithead. They said there's no way a human being can turn into water. So I must have gone mad from grief. Vinyar's death was brushed away by all of you as if it didn't matter at all. Well, now you know, don't you? Ha! Well, it's too late now. All those who were dissolved are gone forever. You only have yourselves to blame. Bull fucking shit. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice. Your beloved drama. While turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Can we lock him in a room with Tartalia? Even without his vision for just like 30 minutes? The year is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she goes, I will follow. But I'm not from this blasted place. So I can't be dissolved. No matter what I do. Oh, wipe your fucking tears. Stupid ass. Oh. Hey, is that water from the primordial sea that he's drinking? I can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. <laughs> do you all see? I can't go. I can't follow. So if I can't go where she is, what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? I did all of that. And in the end, that accursed callus still got the better of me. I mean, you could just ask Clorinda to fuck you up. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles, only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. <laughs> The suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Guards, please restrain him. Thank you. Don't touch me. Don't anybody come near me. I still need to save him yet. I promise. We made a promise. You know what baffles me about this? Does he not have a brain to think? What would she think about this? D does he think she'd be okay with him murdering 20, 30, 40 random innocent women to bring her back? What a stupid motherfucker, dude. Then yeah. Vinier! Shut up. Please, Vinier. Don't think badly of me. <laughs> All I want to do is fulfill our promise. Dumbass. At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the charges against Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. What a nerd emoji. True. Fine by me. I was in a bad mood, but after a show like that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. <laughs> Wait, so what what pisses him off so much Traveler, for Tatalia? Please submit all Don't the answer evidence that. you have collected to the guards so but that still. I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. He's enjoying this. Nuvelet proceeds to review and compile all the evidence the of record. The man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover Vignier. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the primordial sea and was dissolved in front of Varche as a result. It happened just like that? Varche learned of the primordial water's existence through the work of others and began to kidnap young women for research with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel and began to operate a business in Poisson. Wild. During the course of his research, Varche discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the primordial sea can induce feelings of euphoria and began to manufacture and market synth. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina di Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina di Rasula for many years, Varche decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Vache expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. What a bitch. And just recently, Vache attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case using a similar method. Mmm, yeah, kind of. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the primordial sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Vache's machinations that he was eventually successfully charged in court. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances case, 
with the truth revealed to all. This shouldn't be a... It should... This... This is demented, dude. Watching all this go down and clapping and shit and fucking... I, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. It's fucking wild. We're talking about a dude who murdered countless fucking women. The oratrice will I, now deliver the final verdict regarding so, the charges uh, against Mr. Vache. It's so... What's the word, dude? Dystopian. That's the word. It's very dystopian, dude. Star rail time. I better get a five star. Come on. Gotcha. According to the judgment of the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal, Mr. Varche is... Sorry, let me, uh... <clears throat> According to the judgment of the oratrice Medanique Me 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 Danalise Cardinal, the fucking what now? Are we guilty? Yes! Get fucked. Guards, take the shay away. Oh, it rhymed. Good. It's what he deserves. <laughs> uh, with that, the serial disappearances case is over now. We really just witnessed history. True. Who would have thought the true culprit would be such a polite and well-spoken guy? Me. Called it from the beginning. Kind of. Not really, though. I thought it... I thought... I genuinely thought it was either him or a random third, uh, like, culprit that just never showed up in front of us. Smudge. We helped Navia bring the bad guy to justice! We did. He's hurt so many innocent people and now he's finally getting what he deserves! I was right, though, with what I said about, like, they would go with the family member because it would it would impact Navia more, right? I was right about that, at least. Huh? Are you okay? I don't think Navia's good, dude. It's going to impact her so bad. <laughs> yeah. Demoiselle, you were absolutely brilliant. A day our late boss had always hoped for has Man. finally come. You can rest easy now, knowing justice has been served. Yeah. Yeah. It's finally over. It's all thanks to you guys. And my partner. See, Papa? Spina di Rosula still doing well with me at the helm. He's a friend kind of uncle. It's a translation thing. Even then, the closest person to her. They're going to choose the closest person to her. The other two weren't exactly close with her, right? Well, now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? The villain has been caught. Justice yes. has been served, past wrongs have been righted, and it's a big ol' happy ending. So how do you get to the point of what we saw? Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some business to attend to. So, if you'll excuse me... Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. Ugh, oh, what now? None of this has anything to do with me. According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, what? a verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before the trial can conclude. Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me to exit stage left? He's aware. Please respect the laws of Fontaine. This has always been the rule. That's a stupid rule. I'm sorry. Listen, I love you, Nivella, but that's a dumb rule. All right, all right. But this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? Let's just get this over with. That's, that's a ridiculous rule. Through evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. The guilty party has been identified. And thus, it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent of the charges. We now turn to the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal <laughs> to render the final verdict on the charges. I love that. Hmm. Oh, wait, is it gonna... According to the judgment of the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal, Mr. Tartaglia is... Oh, no. Guilty. Oh, no. Hey, hey! That's not funny! Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? Huh? This has never happened before. The Oratrice actually returned a different verdict from the Chief Justice. Uh-oh. I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui Harbinger? 
Do you think the Oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? Did you see the Liddy tr- Go away. But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this case, right? Child has been declared guilty by the Oratrice. Just what is going on here? The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal is, <laughs> by law, the final verdict of the court. We must accept the guilty verdict. I guess Harbinger versus normal Fatui member, true. But again, like, he still didn't commit the fucking crime, dude. That's weird. Guards, please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. This has to be something to do with his vision malfunctioning as well. Maybe it just can't read him? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please don't hurt Nubalette. Ooh, the music. So this is how Ooh. justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. <laughs> You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too. Do it to him, child. <laughs> Damn. Where'd the mecha come from? Ooh. Ooh. Oh god. Oh the music. <laughs> what? I am sorry. The oh, fuck. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. Have you strong? The rules of the court must be upheld. Damn, you strong and you just shrug it off like it don't even eat shit. You got a scratch. Oh, thank God, it's just a flesh wound. Bro, what the fuck? Beast. Hey, hey fuck, child. <laughs> Screw him. Oh, don't matter. That was some bullshit, though. That was some bullshit. He was innocent for that specific crime, and then this stupid machine was like, yeah, no, he's guilty, guilty. But, I mean, we got to see Nuvalet in action, and that was fucking cool, dude. Holy! Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system, the Oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. Damn! All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. Why aren't we asking him the important stuff like how the fuck you just do that? Child in Foul Legacy is like canonically more than just a bit strong, dude. He just went one punch man on his ass. His resistance interruption was deleted. I mean, interrupt of resistance. If the Chief Justice doesn't know, then we have no choice but to ask the Archon herself. Uh, why are you looking at me? I had nothing to do with it. I I don't know what happened there either. Hey, stop staring at me. Oh, uh, oh, oh. What does Lady Farina mean by that? She says she has no idea either, but that's impossible. Didn't she create the Oratrice herself? Yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this really be called justice? <sighs> Uh-oh. <clears throat> My dearest citizens, did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out in this court? Did you really believe that the judgment could be mistaken or be the result of some sort of random mishap? Did you really believe that she wasn't going to gaslight you into believing whatever she says? Don't tell me. You thought even I had been blindsided by the Oratrice's result. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss Farina, you got this. But the way she looked just now, it was pretty obvious she had no idea what was going on. Yep. However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Everything that just took place including my supposed shock and bafflement, was a part of an elaborate performance, with every action meant to stir up drama and excitement. It was all just part of the show, part of the act. <laughs> of course, for every performance, there is a script. Every 
everything has unfolded exactly as I expected from the very beginning. As the embodiment of the very concept of justice, the Oratrice shall never render an arbitrary judgment! If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the superficial appearance of innocence. What Every could he have to do with it? Done, not to mention the danger he poses, are beyond ordinary comprehension and completely unforgivable! All shall be revealed in time. You will come to understand my noble intentions, as well as the absolute correctness of the Oratrice's verdict. <laughs> Dude, the VA killed it. Holy shit, she's so fucking annoying and I love it. Now, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is now time for this performance to end. As the lead actress, I shall be the first to take my leave. <laughs> Toodaloo! Toodaloo. <laughs> so she chose to make her escape after all, did she? Yep. Uh, she dipped. So you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what she just said? Hmm. She probably just put on that performance to save face. Oh, 100%. As for the truth, it's unlikely that she actually has any idea. <laughs> We're gonna pull the rug out from under her. However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. Just as I promised, if the judgment has been incorrect, we will do our utmost to clear his name. Okay. All right. Even though we feel pretty badly for him, we'll take your word for it for now. After all, he's done plenty of bad stuff. So he should have known he'd go to prison someday, right? Surely. You're so tall! I think he's the exact same height. It's the same model, but he looks a little bit taller for some reason. What the hell? Monsieur Nervalet, that power you showed when you took him down. Who are you really? Oh. Hmm? I am the Chief Justice of Fontaine, of course. If officers of the law lack the strength and capability to enforce it, then it makes a mockery of justice. You're a liar. You're cool and you're hot, but you're a liar. Do you think if I kick him in his nuts, he'll start crying and it'll start raining outside for confirmation? Let's go see. He has to be. He has to be the dragon at this point. I actually fully believe it now. Hey, what are you doing? Quick, stop him. Are you trying to run? Dum dum? Traveler. Hey, traveler. The fuck do you want? Stop resisting arrest. Cease, or we'll add another charge to the list. No, 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 wait. I, I just want to ask the traveler something. I I'm not looking to run away. Please, please, just let me ask this one small thing. What? Go on. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. I was being led away when I finally realized something. Where did you first hear the name Vache? Uh-oh. I erased all records of that name. So, unless... Are you still trying to prove your innocence? Give it up. You've already been convicted. Yes, I met her. Ah, uh, really? You, you did? You're sure? You met her? But how could that be? How did you manage to do it? It was around the Fountain of Lucene. Something to do with my sensitivity to the hydro element. You know what's really fucked up about this chat? That I've just fucking thought? So, if it really was drinking that stuff that helped us be able to communicate with her, he's not from Fontaine. He could have just done that himself instead of killing countless people. He could have just drunk some and... The Fountain of Lucene? Then, then she's been so close to me all along. And I just never... Please, Damn. please give me a chance to talk to her again. Just let the Traveler take me to the Fountain to see her one last time. This is the last request I'll ever make in my life. You can do whatever you want to me afterwards. I don't care. I hope she absolutely fucking slaughters him verbally, dude. What? Give an inch and you want to take a mile? Do you think serial killers get to make requests like that? Hmm. Paimon agrees. Why should we give him what he wants when he's only done a ton of super terrible things? This request, is it worth as much to you as your life? Of course. Wait, no. It's worth even more than my life. Humans. 
Well, they betray the instinct to live just to satisfy spiritual needs. What do you mean by that, Nuvalet, huh? What do you mean by that? You mean you're not a human and you're talking down to other humans, huh? You, what are you? What are you? Motherfucker? Dragon? You dragon? You, you scaly? You have a tail? Can I see it? Very well. I will grant your request. Sick. Your Honor, I fear that... I will go with him. You do not need to worry about any escape. <sighs> In that case, I shall leave him in your most capable hands, Chief Justice. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Hmm. Suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, suspicious. All right, bring myself to the Phantom Plaza. We can do this. We can do this. I, I want him to go to the plaza. I would have taken him as well. And I want her, I want the, the woman in the fountain, the girl, to absolutely demolish him. I want her to just talk so much smack and say that he did horrible, disgusting, ridiculous shit. And I hope he feels terrible for the rest of his life. Is this the place? Yes. You said she's here, but what do I need to do to see her? Uh, but then I drank water for the primordial sea. It heightened my sensitivity to the hydro element. Yeah, and even Paimon could hear her after drinking that thing. Didn't you just drink a lot of it on the stage as well? True. Oh, in that case... Vashe. Ah, there she is. Oh. Yes, that's it. So you heard it too! Vinier, it's me! It's me, Vache! Vache? Vache? I'm here! I'm here! Where are you, Vinier? I'm coming for you! Huh? I'm finally here for you! Hey, wait! Be careful! Hey, wait! What? Vinier, is that you? It's me, Vache! Vinier! Vache? Why did you come? Didn't I say? You don't need to look for me. You... You look a lot older than I remember. Oh, God. How long has it been? It's been more than 20 years. Wow. I've suffered for over 20 years since the day you left. Was Child even born when this shit started happening? <laughs> All this time... Only the thought of bringing you back has kept me alive. Nothing else mattered to me. Oh, I must be dreaming. Who would have thought I'd get the chance to tell you all of my feelings like this? Hey, this would be a great time for you to create those, uh, specifically the hydro hawks that fly around. Vinier, you are my everything. I really don't know how I could live without you. But Vache, if you ask me... This world would be better off without you. Yes, beast! You legend! Uh, wh what are you saying? You are so cool for that. If not for you, I would have finished my law degree and probably become a top-tier attorney one day. Okay, well, I was thinking more about the people that he literally murdered, not y your fucking degree, but, you know. I if not for you, same. I would have continued to pursue my love of the arts. And my works would have been displayed in the Palais Mermondia itself. Uh, that, that, that also works. If not for you, I would at least have been able to take care of my mother. And she would not have grown old and died alone. With nothing but the tears on her cheeks. Kill him. It's all because of your selfishness, Vache. Kill him. It's all because of you. Murder him! You... Wait, you are not Vinier. Wait. Who are you? Wait, this is... You're right. <gasps> oh! This is all of the dead I people! The sacrifice. Oh, shit! Kill him! Every woman who died by your hand, as our bodies dissolved, our consciousnesses flowed back to the primordial sea. Rip his head off his body! Our thoughts circulated endlessly within the primordial sea, and we were no longer individuals. But we became one, just as streams of water come together in the sea. Jesus Christ, that's incredibly creepy, but so cool. I'm Cressy. I'm Lemony. I'm Azine. I'm Bran. The only one I am not is Vignere. Damn! Why? But then, where is Vignere? She doesn't want to see you anymore. Every tendril of her yes. consciousness is avoiding you. 
Good. This is what you get for your selfishness. Bitch. Your selfishness robbed us of our lives and our futures. You said time and time again that you'd do any and everything for her. Bro, this is the coolest twist. I did not expect this. That's the coolest twist. But did you ever consider whether she'd want to see you do the things that you did? If she would despise you for what you became? Hell yeah. I, um, I... Uh, 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 continue speaking. You are a liar, a heartless murderer, and a cowardly narcissist. The only thing you are not is Vignier's beloved. So, yeah, so you tear him down mentally and then murder him. <laughs> From the moment your first victim died and her consciousness merged with Vignier's, she has had nothing but pure hatred for you. Damn, dude, that's so messed up to think about. Looks like I didn't meet Vignette back then either. They must have wanted me to learn Marcel here from the very beginning. They could have just asked. I'm not going to lie, dude. They could have just asked and I'd have said yeah. I'd have said yeah. No. Yeah. She can't hate me. I'd have done it. Let me see her. Please. Have mercy. Did you have mercy? You still don't understand. When I said don't look for me, that came from the real Vignette. She really doesn't want to see you anymore. But on top of that, she also said that because it's her final drop of pity for you. Uh-oh. She said that because she knew <laughs> that if you did come here, <laughs> we will show no mercy to you. Oh, that's so sad, dude. Vache. Vache? Kill him. Drown. Oh? <laughs> what the hell? Huh? Later, the gods find the culprit of the serial disappearances of a. Ah! I can't. What? Was he dead? He died? They got him! From fright? What a little bitch. Finally, we have some time to do shopping. Gosh. It's really been a long time since it's we've raining. been able to relax. He's crying. Nuvel, why are you crying? Shopping is stressful in its own way, though. My legs are killing me. Huh. Well met, partner. I knew something great was going to happen when I woke up in such a good mood today. Yeah. Even this weather can't put a damper on the demoiselle's mood. It's a pleasure to see you both again. <laughs> I love Silva, dude. I don't know what it is about him. I, I think he's great. I just think he's great. Oh, hey, Navia. It's been a few days. Paimon's already started to miss you. Oh, now that I believe. Oh. I'm easy to work with. And Why does that sound like Zin Yan? The bacon. Who wouldn't treasure having a partner like me? What else is it yet for a second? Now that I believe. It's all is it yet? Sounds like you're really enjoying life these days, Navia. What have you been busy with since the trial? Uh, it's just been one thing after the other. I've been making non-stop trips between Poissa mm. and the court since then. Understandable. Everyone from Spina di Rosula organized a memorial for my father. We never held a memorial when he first died. Since everyone knew that even if we held one back then, no one was going to come. Oh, man. This time, though, everyone in Poisson, and even many people from the court, all attended. <sighs> so his name's definitely been cleared now. That's what we like to hear. It's been the dearest wish of Demoiselle all along. <laughs> that blasted, stubborn fool. I was right to put my faith in him. I'm so glad I didn't give up on the case all those years ago. Things turned out as well as they could have. Do you think he's crying because everything's finally brought to wraps and justice has been served? But he still feels awful. Oh, by the way, I ran into Charlotte just after I left the memorial service. Man. Uh, well, maybe it'd be more accurate to say I knew she would be there. And there was no way she'd just let me go. Also the false verdict, true. You know Charlotte too? The Charlotte? Journalist from the Steamboat? Yeah, 
Way back when I first became the president of the Spina di Rosula, she was all over me. Wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> I believe the story was called The True Heart of Darkness, Secret Tales of the Yellow Rose. Oh, hell yeah. To be fair, though, it was a really flattering feature. <laughs> so we've been on pretty good terms ever since. She was trying to lean on our friendship to get me to do an exclusive piece on the serial disappearances case. Oh, yeah. She told us about that. She's always been super interested in that case, so now her wish has finally come true, too. Anyway, I told her to make sure that when she writes about you guys entering the opera house with the critical evidence, that you both sound really cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now that's another thing to look forward to. We trust Charlotte's skills with a pen for sure. Oh, and in other news, I also took Clarand out for a meal. Dude, bro, Navia gets the seal of like most fucking most level-headed character we've ever met in Genshin for me. Oh, it's cool. Are you two on better terms now? Mm, while you were investigating Vache's headquarters, Clorand gave testimony on my father's behalf. Yeah. It was thanks to her that we were able to turn the tide. I wanted to thank her. I mean, there's also no point in being awkward all the time. True. So we took the chance to reconcile with each other. That looked cool. Did you see that? How the, her eye was appearing through that part of the hat? Oh, that's great. Paimon also thought Clarend wasn't actually a bad person. It's always good to have more friends. Anyway, now that the case has finally been solved, perhaps it will slowly begin to fade from the public consciousness. Oh, actually, there's still one last thing I need to do. Hmm? What is it? I should pay a visit to my father's grave and tell him the truth of what happened as well as how it all ended And on top of that Just how much people still look up to him to this day Oh, man that includes me too Miss Navia Indeed Can I come to what? <laughs> She is. Sure thing. I'd like you two to share the moment with me. After all, without you, there might not have been such a positive ending. And in that case, everyone, let's be off. Considering the recent weather, we'll be lucky if we can reach Poisson before dark. Yeah, you're right. It's been raining non-stop for a few days now. Oh, no. Nubilet is not fucking crying. I, 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 I'm saying that because I'm like, in my head, I am 100% confident about that now. I, I do think he's the Hydro Dragon. I think it only rains when he cries. father's grave is. <sighs> to be perfectly honest, even I haven't been back here for a long time. Huh? There's someone there already. Wait. No. No, it's it not. It's not going to be Nouvellet, dude. No, don't do this to me. Don't fucking do this to me. Hmm? Isn't that Nervalette? Why would the Chief Justice be here? Huh? Navia? Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. My apologies. I should have asked before coming to pay my respects. Don't say that. Sorry about that. Oh, uh... I was trying to say there's no need for you to apologize. Stop apologizing for apologizing, Nuvalet. I wanted to show my father how much I've grown. But still, I doubt I've grown to the point that even the Chief Justice would feel compelled to apologize to me over and over. In that case, I will stop apologizing for now. <laughs> Great. Hmm. You really could use some pointers on understanding human emotions, Monsieur Nuvalet. Wait, does she know? In any case... Why did you come to Poisson? Why do they keep specifying human every time? Hmm. Do they uh, all know? Ever since that day, I've been turning a question over and over in my head. Just what is justice anyway? There was once a time when I didn't want to believe that there could be anything more important to humans than life itself. I, the, is she, everyone knows. The, she must know. You don't think it's a secret? It fucking was to us. Still, st technically still is. It hasn't even been revealed yet. Oh, rather than that, 
It's probably more truthful to say I didn't believe humans were capable of resisting the most basic instinct of living things. That they could rebel against their own nature, or consider certain things to be more important than their own lives. Which is also why I didn't stop your father from beginning that fateful duel. Man. I believed that a truly innocent man would never throw away his life like that. That there was nothing, should have been nothing more important than one's own continued survival. Dude, the, the, I, I, I know I keep saying it, dude, but the voice acting direction on Nuvolet is fucking phenomenal. It's so good. But Mr. Callus proved me utterly <sighs> and decisively wrong. If not for his sacrifice, the serial disappearances case would have remained unsolved to this day. Mr. Callus made the choice he did for his daughter. I love it. For his associates, and for many people completely unrelated to him. Mm. And in the end, from a certain perspective, one could say that he did it all for the sake of justice. A justice that's higher than life itself. Man. So, you asked me why I came here. I just wanted to say my apologies to Mr. Callis in person. I should have noticed all of this much sooner. This regret has filled me with a sadness that has haunted me for days. There it is. And, yeah, three, a few days by chance, yeah? Just just like the rain's been going on for a few days? That high and mighty chair in the opera Epicles indeed insulates one from many important things. Shit, dude. Spina di Rosula, thank you so much for your hard work and perseverance. Oh. Uh. I'm sorry for being mad at you before. So, you're actually one of those types that's cold on the outside, but pretty thoughtful on the inside, huh? Yeah. That reminds me of Silver, one of my guys. Sorry about that. Self-expression is not one of my strong suits. <sighs> Didn't I just say you don't need to apologize? <laughs> Please apologize for apologizing again. Ah, oh, so <laughs> Disturb them for now. We can wait till after they're done. Following Navi and Nuvalet, you also pay your respect to Callus. <sighs> Paimon's never paid respects at someone's grave before. Uh, did Paimon do anything rude there? Well, you're not usually supposed to fly around someone's grave. <laughs> yeah, he's happy now, or at least not sad. <gasps> Walk. Oh no. Hopes Miss Navia won't be too mad. <laughs> wow, she took it seriously. Anyway, Nervalette is still standing around there. It's not often that we can catch him alone like this, so <laughs> oh, no. why don't we go talk to him for a bit? If we can't talk to Lady Farina, we can at least talk to him, right? Yeah. Yeah, I wanna talk to him. I'm gonna talk to Navia first, <laughs> since he's got the quest icon. Disrespectful just now. Why is this so? Why is the camera so sensitive here, dude? Jesus Christ, bro, the camera's so sensitive. Uh, what are it's you never saying, that bad. Paimon? I don't think I get it. Well, aren't you not supposed to fly around someone's grave? No. Huh? <laughs> oh. Who told you that? Not me. No. <laughs> It's funny. That's why. Because it's funny, Paimon. Oh, it's you two. Did Miss Navia invite you to come pay your respects to her father? Well, we kind of invited ourselves. Mm -hmm. We ran into Navia on the streets today, so we just followed her here. <laughs> I see. I see. Jesus Christ. Then is there something that I can help you with? Uh, um, well, it's pretty hard to run into you like this since you're usually super busy. So we figured we could try to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Please feel free. Though outsiders, you helped us solve one of the greatest mysteries in Fontaine. Hell yeah, we did. It would be my pleasure to return the favor. Mm hmm About the water from the Primordial Sea. So, at court, the bad guys referred to that special water as water from the Primordial Sea. But, what is it really? 
Truthfully, that name is already quite accurate. Yeah, I was gonna say. I can only surmise that Vache and his ilk only learned of its nature and existence after extensive research. Yeah. There used to be a special sea on the surface of this planet. The nature of its seawater was rather different from that of the sea we know today. Hmm. Most of Tavat's life forms were first born in that special sea. You could say it nurtured much of the life on this planet. Ha! Huh. Huh. So it really was where everything began. It makes sense to call it Primordial, then. Probably where the Primordial One was born. But today, the Primordial Sea no longer exists on the planet's surface. Wait, on the surface? What Vashe discovered must have been some kind of special case, or a remnant from a truly ancient age. Huh. So that's how it is. Oh, you really know everything, Monsieur Nervalette. But if that's the case, then... Why would people, uh, at least people from Fontaine, dissolve in that kind of water? Indeed. Why yes. would the primordial sea, which was known to engender and nurture life, suddenly reverse itself and devour life instead? To be frank, that also doesn't match my understanding of this world and its laws. There must still be some unknown secrets around the people of this land. Oh. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? I could just listen to you for a couple of hours, honestly, so yeah. About the prophecy that has been circulating around Fontaine. That the sea levels will rise and everyone will be dissolved in water, leaving Farina crying alone on her throne, but the sins of the people will be finally washed away for good. Yes. I like how he calls her Farina, too. Does that appropriately summarize the version you've heard? That's right! It was Linny that told us back then! And... That about covers all the main points. Yes, up to the present, I think we reached a point where we have no choice but to confront this prophecy directly. Mm. Rumors have it that this prophecy is rooted in the last words the former Hydro Archon left to the world before she passed away. A prophecy? Of the former Hydro Archon? Wow. This is the first time that we've ever heard of it. Two parts of the prophecy have already proven correct. The rising sea levels, and the ability of the people of Fontaine to be dissolved. We should be more vigilant, and stay on the watch for further signs. Based on the two cases from the Acts 1 and 2, if only Fontanians can get dissolved and the prophecy says only Hydro Archon will remain, is that implying Farina is not Fontanian, but an impo- You've got a fucking quick thinking brain. Speaking of the prophecy, Farina has also always taken it quite seriously. Mm. Indeed. She has been collecting information and intelligence from across Tevat for this purpose. If the rumors were true, then perhaps this prophecy is the conundrum left to Farina by her predecessor. But with Farina being the way she is, can we really trust her to solve it? Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? I'm not expecting a good answer about the about my sibling if he just left us on red for that one, so I'm going to say about child first. My apologies. My investigation has still not reached its conclusion. However, I still believe the judgment of the Oratrice was not rendered arbitrarily. Huh? But you also said you thought he was innocent! Yeah. For many years, I have been quite aware that the Oratrice does not simply mechanically repeat the verdict that I give on each case. God, his design is so fucking sick, dude. As a divinely created mechanism, the people's unified faith in the concept of justice is integrated into it. Not only can it produce the incredible power of indemnitium, but it likely also possesses other traits, such as self-awareness. Mm. Which is all to say, I have been prepared for a situation like this for a long time. Huh. So when Linny told us that he heard a human voice from the room where the Oratrice's core is stored... I was not aware such a thing had occurred. Perhaps that could serve to prove my conjecture. Oh no. I will add that to the list of items to investigate. In any case, I am inclined to believe that the Oratrice does have a methodology all its own. We just do not have enough information. Based on Farina's reaction, I doubt even she had any idea what was going on. She managed to bluff her way through it, though, with her time-tested twin tricks of bravado and drama. While we do intend to get to the bottom of this, for now, we regret to say that the Fatui Harbinger We'll just have to bide his time in the fortress of Meripede. If we did incorrectly convict him of crimes he did not commit, we will most certainly compensate him to the fullest extent allowed by the law. Hell yeah. If you ask Paimon, the only compensation he'll want is a no-holds-barred fight with you. 
Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? Are you a dragon? <laughs> about my sibling. Your sibling? Another blonde-haired traveler. I'm sorry, but I've never seen anyone who matches that description. Mm. If she ever stepped foot in Fontaine, I'm sure she followed our laws to the letter and had no reason to appear on the stage of the opera Epicles. How'd you know it's a she, motherfucker? How'd you know that? Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? No. Very well. It was my honor to provide you with what answers I could. Translation I issue? I much enjoyed conversing with you. It's always translation issue, dude. <laughs> Do, do, is it sister in original instead of sibling? It will soon be time for me to leave this blissful tranquility behind. Yes. And return to Palais Memonia. Why can't, why can't it just be the same? Why? <laughs> you really are super busy, Monsieur. It said sister with a question. Well, it said sibling here. Pay your respects today because you have the day off. Crime and villainy do not have the day off. And so justice must work around the clock as well. This is merely the nature of a justice's work. All right, all right, you've got a point. <laughs> huh? Paimon just noticed that the rain has stopped. Yeah, because he's happy again. No, no. Cute. Oh, it's done. No. God damn it. Oh. Steam bird interview? Fuck off. What did I think? I thought that was pretty shit, to be honest. Probably a three. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's by far my favorite Archon quest in the entire game. By far. But I'm not gonna lie here. Other than the fact that Mondstadt feels like home, Fontaine might actually top Mondstadt for my favorite region, Lux-wise. Mm -hmm.